<clears throat> In the upper bounds of your city. There is an auspicious office building that stands above all the rest. It casts a constant shadow over the surrounding festival district, lending it almost an eternal air of night. However, even during this midday, it seems the festival rages on as if it were another holiday. One figure blends into the line of guards, disguised armor secured tight. As the shifts change, he manages to work his way forwards, approaching the ballroom. His figure brushes past lightly, seeing two others on the far side of the room. The AI, properly incarnated now, paces back and forth as if enjoying his new body. Rodamanthus, my dear! Question. Hmm? He turns over, eyes twitching to the sides, meeting CEO Fives. About our long-range transportation. Still out, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, the demons are really making things pretty inconvenient for us this time. Hmm. Seems like Opie is moving against them. If we just bide our time, the problem will probably solve itself. Right. Hmm. Does that sound good by your account, Mr. Maximum? His vision twitches to the side. A large figure dwarfs the rest of the city. Imposing. Powerful. A figure that adorns more billboards than a skeleton. A face that anyone would recognize anywhere. The look, the appearance, the stern gaze of the richest man in the world. Siegfried Maximum! His vision fixates on the two on the other side of the ballroom. Tell me, boys. Why do you think birds fly? What do we what do we think birds fly? Um, that's right. To escape the weight of gravity, he turns, looking over his city. The city that Geist built. All of it adorned in a brilliant purple. They struggle <clears throat> to push back against that which pulls us inwards. But inexorably, we are all pulled towards this confluence of fate. He leans heavily on the balcony, spotlights flaring up on either side. Regardless of how things work out in the derelict, Geist will stand by as patiently as it always has. Someday, indeed, we will make our move. He turns. But, as per the god of humanity's plan, they haven't started moving yet. Why should we? He slides a chair over, placing it in the middle of the room, and then slides another, sitting on both of them at the same time. He stares at CEO 5. Hmm. Well, Mr. Maximum, I actually have some bad news about that. In Northern Ciala, in the Eternal City. An almost grotesque quiet sits over the area. It's almost like hmm, the sensation of this large city left completely open, unoccupied, yet waiting, ready. It's almost like walking into a room with dozens and dozens of empty, beautiful, well-constructed glasses. You're waiting for a single sound to resound through the entire place, a resonant cry that might bring this place to life, but for now, this place sits in an almost eerie silence. Pixie lackadaisically shifts her way forwards, sweeping one arm in front of the other. Okay, um, so, uh... She looks back and forth. Right, if we're gonna go in this archive, you gotta go over here first. She brushes in this direction. This would someday be an annex for the Sears, a um, slightly disconnected part of the city meant for the 
the clergy of Siala. You move towards a large statue. Pixie kind of points, looks over to Liam. Looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Liam looks over and utters a single word. Rah. <laughs> she moves up. Right, okay. If we extinguish the light here, it should cause the heat vents to... She moves up, extinguishing the lantern. And, as she does, the entire city begins to almost hum with a slight energy. You hear Liam behind you somewhere, long slats opening, Whoa. as slight amounts of heat are actually pumped into the environment. And then you hear a rush as what appears to be an air conditioning system locks into place under your feet. And as this almost natural weather control locks in, the environment changes. The brilliant sunshine locked over to the Eternal City, at least this segment, starts to wane as oppressive fog pours into the area. Whoa. <clears throat> she, uh, she turns around. Yeah, there's one rule. If you're gonna go into this building, you need to make absolutely sure the sun isn't out. We don't want anyone seeing after all. She lazily drags herself forwards. So like, uh, do you think she knows about this? Huh. I don't know. Um, after I've encountered her a few times, I'm willing to bet she suspects, but... The Seers have spent thousands of years hiding stuff like this all over. So, I guess... Bruh, what if we just tell her when it comes back? Like, well, what if? I guess... Like, we just saying, like, what if? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would definitely get me excommunicated. But I'm kind of working Damn. my way in that direction anyway. <laughs> She moves her way in. The door, the stone door, sliding open, allowing you passage into the library within. It's an interesting thing. Pixie's allegiance from the Seers seemed to swap in an instant with the last mission. As she explained it, <clears throat> you enter the low library. Your vision struggles against the darkness. As Pixie explained it, there were simply two sides in the equation. Loyalty was a rather simple thing. She looks around the room, trying to find the exact shelf she's looking for. One side, the Seers, saw the unfortunate loss of Helena to the Coda below and simply said, unfortunate circumstances stick to the plan. And the other, the side of Opia, is mounting a foolish, reckless, and likely deadly uh, mission to strive deep within and pull back those that were taken. Her loyalty in this case might seem easily bought, but for Pixie, it was a very pragmatic, straightforward, and wholly believed choice. Liam Pixie, roll me d20s. <laughs> Sister, I don't know how you see anything in here. <laughs> Most of the Seers actually have, like, long-lasting retinal damage due to operating in the dark for so long. The name is kind of ironic if you really think about it. Bruh, that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> you work your way over to this shelf, and Liam... Liam saves the day. A, uh, a large scroll actually sort of catches your attention, as you see... You connect two and two. The slats in the city earlier, air conditioning systems in the Eternal City, someplace that's supposed to be ancient, and what you look at in front of you appears to be a blueprint. That immediately strikes your fancy. She turns over and he sort of follows squint. her eyes. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's very obvious because he is squinting and his face is almost touching the thing so that he can <laughs> see anything in this darkness. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Aww. Pixie like looks down, picks up the scroll and moves it over. She places it on the desk in front of you. And um, 
like, slowly starts to snap pictures of this. I'm gonna send this over to the gate leader once, um, once we get back in signal range again. Oh, nice. She sort of taps her, uh, taps her mouth a few times. There's one really important thing, though. We can't tell anyone that we were here, but we especially need to make sure that no one knows we're passing these along to Opia or especially Riddle Arendite, okay? Salutes all the... <laughs> Okay. She like leans back in and continues taking pictures. Slowly. The point of view moves outwards, fading into the darkness. This entire wing, tucked away, wrapped in fog, hidden from the sight of two people, but one in particular, a segment of the Eternal City that could never be discovered by the, by the proclaimed Savior of Humanity. However, back confused. Siegfried Maximum has been fully updated on the situation. So you mean mass evacuations? Yeah, that's right, mass evacuations. They're all headed towards the Eternal City right now. See, Allen countryside's mostly empty. Hmm, yeah, seems like they're actually getting moving on their side of the plan before we had a chance to act on our own. Real shame, that. You think they're able to smell the wind or something, like they can sense a change in the currents? Hmm? He shrugs. If this, we promised one thing, however. If the Sialans predicted that the end times were upon us, we'd act accordingly. Uh, so we gotta start moving then. Mm hmm And that's hard without, without the long range transportation, yeah. Unfortunately, um, all of our tech related to teleporters and otherwise is currently being obstructed by, well, something down below. He gestures at his feet. Also, for what it's worth, it seems like a group of rats has managed to sneak their way in and steal segments of our transportation technology. Hmm. Steal or steal back? It's rooted in C. Allen Tech. Maybe they figured it out for themselves. Still, I have no idea how they got in, how they're able to reproduce it, or how they're subtle about all of this. Siegfried taps his foot on the ground. Hmm. Well, if they're capable of getting past your watchful eyes, they have to be mighty impressive indeed. In Midtown. Two geist individuals. Sit, enjoying a short break. And immediately behind them, Argos. You said. In full stakeout position. You hold your newspaper up and occasionally glimpse over. Now Argos, you've been given a very privileged position on the team right now. That's right. You've been given this, the coveted spot of large newspaper. The woman next to you looks over her relatively small newspaper, sunglasses up uh, on her forehead. She continues to gaze uh, at the two nearby. Finally, last but not least, the last member of your infiltration squad sits. No newspapers remain, so instead, Willow has been granted a book that will survive the end of the world should it come to that. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle's like, I'm sorry about the lack of supplies, but I think we're making it work. <laughs> no, no, it's alright, it's alright. I'm just reading this book. <laughs> if, you keep if you saying to... that. We all we all know you're reading the book. You're gonna look suspicious if you if you do it <laughs> even more. You can also keep the book if you want. Like that that can be a gift from me to you. It really will survive the end of the world. I'm a little too big to fit in my pockets. That actually makes a lot of sense. Maybe I could get you like a smaller version of it. But that makes the whole infiltration thing a lot harder. Huh? <laughs> Riddle thinks to herself and from behind, someone sort of stomps into the area. <laughs> Ace, 
You see, you see your associates aligned in front of you. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? You guys look suspicious, you know that? What? Get, come on, sit down. Pull up Get. a burrito, Ace. Sit, sit, come on. Pull, pull up a Cover burrito. your famous face with yeah. a newspaper or something. Yeah, covered your... Uh, uh, here. She slaps the sunglasses on you. <laughs> 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 Natural fit. You have one. <clears throat> oh, he... Oh, now he looks even more like a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, give me my sunglasses back then. I think I pulled them off. Yeah. She puts them back on her forehead. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. What exactly are you guys doing? I'm, um, Riddle-like. Riddle pulls out a device. What? She's like, basically... What does it look what? like we're doing? We're, we're, we're staking them out. And no. I'm using... What, what? I wanted she to see nervous. if we were pulling it off. <laughs> if we looked like, you know, oh, just three yeah, point, three people all reading individually at the same table, then... Yeah. Okay, so here's the problem, right? No matter how many newspapers, no matter how many books you guys yeah. read, yeah. you have a horn, you two have bug doinkers. <laughs> Riddle, like, We're not actually you. reading them. <laughs> Unless you're Willow. Re Willow, are you reading it? There's lots of good stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty personal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ace, all we're doing right now is we're spying on some guys, guys. Well, she pulls out a device. This is functionally decrypting all the ID cards that they have in their pocket so we can walk into that building over there and go and steal their teleporter technology. It's important for the plan. And why do we have to sneak in to do that? Because we want to steal from the more in the future, right? Like, come on, this is fun. You're having fun, right? Come on, eat your burrito, Ace. I just got here, <laughs> but I'll take come the on. food, though. <laughs> she hands <laughs> you a burrito. <laughs> here, crouch next to me. It'll look normal. <laughs> <laughs> she pats mm. the ground. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, would we have to steal from them again if we just steal what they got? Like, everything? Uh, what do you mean everything? How are we going to steal everything that they have, Ace? I can't carry that much. <laughs> Why, how, how do you immediately want to burn a bridge? <laughs> yeah. Burn we a bridge leave the, with guys? We leave this bridge unburned so we can cross it later to steal more things. Okay. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> what would you do? I'd break through the front door and grab everything and leave. <laughs> Appealing, admittedly. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna like, hide their stuff better next time. Exactly. I mean, so? if you smash it good enough, there won't be a next time. <laughs> you want to take down the multinational corporation that owns, like, half the city. No, I I, I, I kind of like where he's coming from, actually. I think we should hear him out. <laughs> Riddle I suddenly relaxes. We can't carry the whole building. We're going to only get, like, maybe two giant vats at most. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, how about this? If it's something that can fit in two giant vats, then we, we take it and break everything. And, like, if that's the limit of it. But if it's more than that, we don't own anything, okay? So we can come back. I mean, look, whatever you guys plan on doing, that's fine. I'm just okay. saying, it's just, you know, spending a lot of time doing yeah. this. Listen, it's worth it. We need teleporter tech. It's face yeah. one of the plan, Ace. Face one of the plans. She shakes you. You don't like the whole planning <laughs> thing. You like to run in and smash, but... And crush and destroy and take down multinational corporations. And that last part, really good. But the first two parts... Oh, we'll there will be a time them? for that. Yes. <laughs> I like your sizes. Come on, Ace, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, as long as you guys are having fun, I guess. <laughs> Oop. Uh Riddle's uh Riddle looks down at um her uh her her little device and she's like, Oh, uh we got the all clear. Come on guys, let's go. Thank goodness. We're just gonna walk through the front door. Yeah, yeah. I mean kind of come on. You'll you'll figure it out. Hold on. I'll, That's I'll give what you, you wanted to do just a second ago. Ace. I'm gonna give you control of your uh, various uh, your various disguises here. Hold on. Look, control by all players. There you go. Smashing through the front door when you don't care about stealth is one thing, but caring about stealth and then going through the front door it just kind of like does not like defeat the purpose. No, no, no. I'll I'll show you. I've got a technique for this. I've got a technique for this. Don't worry. Also, Mike's keeping an eye on them. Riddle gestures over there. You see a plush sit up in the seat. <laughs> It's fine. We've got this. I mean, as long as Mike's on it. 
<laughs> Mike, who is back in the dorms, is like, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I like... still can't tell if she's joking or not. <laughs> <laughs> you you walk, uh, you start to walk in this direction, and someone moves towards you from the Geist building. She travels your way. Riddle, like, moves towards her. Isabeau! Isabeau! Oh, you good? wow. You Amazing. ready to roll? The most famous people in the city conspicuously walking across the street with newspapers. <laughs> uh, no, that's not entirely fair. Uh, he only has a burrito and she has an ancient tome. <laughs> so are you trying to be inconspicuous or are you trying to be inconspicuous ironically? Uh, little, little from column A, little from column B. Is either one working? <laughs> um, I'm into irony. <laughs> Hold on, I'm making sure you've got control over Isabel. There you I go. Didn't, but no, <laughs> I, of course. Uh, Riddle continues walking forward. She's like, okay. Moves her way in this direction. I've got a plan. I've done this so many times before, you guys. Have you? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get caught? Like a few times. <laughs> Here's the thing about getting caught. It just makes you better at escaping. Honestly, yeah, like, if we get caught, what can they do to stop us from escaping? <laughs> there you go. It says the right spirit. Plenty remember, of things. Remember, Willow, two vats. If we need it, two vats. <laughs> uh, two vats. Right, Argos, you said plenty of things. Name those things. Arrest us. <laughs> I can Number teleport one. out of cuffs in jail. I can't, but keep going. <laughs> yeah. You know what they do? After you do that, they come arrest you again. They don't They don't forget about this. This yeah, isn't you like an ancient video game. Isn't there like... You don't walk through a door and all your crimes go away. Isn't there like statue of limitations or whatever? If I just escape them enough, they'll just stop trying. Riddle looks over. See, he gets it. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Riddle makes her way back here and then... It dips into like this I would hate to be your agent <laughs> she dips into this little side area summons a uh circle of esp that extends partially into the building grabs both of your hands willow and yanks you through the wall <laughs> oh and then you guys are just gone <laughs> yeah i guess i'll just wait for her to come back I, the I esp circle either. the esp circle's still there you can go over to the other side she just assumed you'd follow because she's you know <laughs> no, okay. and anyways argos my my agent spends more time in jail than i do so like uh <laughs> <laughs> teleports through so so do you just walk through the wall is is that uh yeah make it look casual here i i open up the newspaper real big like i'm reading a big meaty story uh -oh. <laughs> all right go go Okay, here I go through a wall. She closes her eyes and jumps no, through. It. <laughs> Argos, you look back and forth, and maybe these people are. Maybe these people might be watching you. Maybe, could be. Hmm, oh, hard I'll to just tell. Casually lean against the side of this building and read the newspaper. Then until I stop watching, <laughs> I eventually turn away. <laughs> Looking off into sure. the city, you you continue watching them for a little bit, and then you feel you feel a hand on the back of your head, and one of the talons the reaches through, attaches, and yanks you through the wall. <laughs> they all turn around and they're like, "What?" <laughs> Inside the building. You guys, this would be you god, I fucking love you so much, Jesus. Okay. Uh you would stumble your way out. Let me grab let me grab a a theme. Uh no. Over here. You all stumble out of a nearby office room, sort of, <clears throat> into a hallway. Um, Riddle's like, okay, good work, everyone. You guys know you're allowed to just walk through the front door. Are we? Uh, yeah. Riddle, po Riddle points down the way, uh, in this direction. You see two guys guards down that way. She, she, she like, 
uh, swings their finger back and forth. If we go that way, they're definitely going to arrest us for sure. Plus, those two already know my face because of how many times I've tried to break into this building before. But 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 you're <laughs> wearing glasses. <laughs> Riddle's <Roughly> like technically. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm wearing them on my forehead. They look good up here. They could be concealing other eyes. She could be anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Isabel. Okay. You know, just when I thought you were like the voice of reason or something. Uh... I I am the. She turns around. Ace. When was I ever the voice of reason? I wasn't <laughs> talking about you. I was talking about you. Though. <laughs> you know, fair. Okay. You know, somewhere uh, along the lines of my third espionage mission, without knowing my job, you kind of start losing your reason. That's fair. <laughs> Riddle puts her hand on the door. She's like, okay, I'm going to go in here. We need to figure out how their teleporters work. It's part of the plan. Um, Make sure we don't get discovered, okay? Pat Pat goes in and starts messing around on a computer. Okay. Do we have free reign to just go what? around? Riddle's like, yeah, so long as you make sure I don't get picked up, you're good. All right. This is where my part of plan, part of the plan comes in. I open up the newspaper and flip it over and plaster a page to the to the door that says under construction. <laughs> Are these cardboard boxes? Uh, yeah, of course. Is there any Geist armor in this? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, we're just in the boxes. <laughs> Luck roll, let's go. D20. Uh, no, absolutely not. There's a guy spraying construction helmet. Oh, I don't need the box. In the box. Are you taking the box? Willow puts a box over everyone's head. Uh, <laughs> someone comes around the corner, just block up the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a reference. <laughs> someone sort of starts to wander towards you. Moving towards your, like... <laughs> You assemble your little line over here, and this guy, like, actually stops and is like, Holy shit! Isabeau? <laughs> Paul, is that you? <laughs> oh my god, Isabeau, it's been so long! How hey, have you been? Y yo, how's that Opia thing going? It's It's been going. Um, how's, how's regular grunt duties been going? Uh, you know, after I got transferred off the blimp, things have been kind of rough for me. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand that. Did you um, hear, did you hear about, like, they're repurposing, okay, you, so, like, are you, Opia guys doing anything about the evacuation? Um, are we Opia guys doing anything about the evacuation? You haven't heard shit about the evacuation other than the Cialo one. I'm just now hearing about the evacuation. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, uh, yeah, I, I thought you guys as, like, medical professionals would be, like, Okay. Yeah, no, um, we just got the orders, like, a little bit earlier. Uh, maybe, maybe your higher-ups will catch up. Um, we're, uh, we're starting to move people to the shelters. Are you heading that way? No, I gotta, you know, make sure nobody breaks into, like, this is like, um, it's like, almost like town hall. Uh, it's not our main headquarters or anything, but I gotta make sure nobody's doing anything suspicious in this area. Yeah, none of that's happening here today. Yeah, like, not on your watch, Paul. You leave your like stapler here or something? Um, actually, I don't all, think you cleaned all... out your cubicle. Yeah, I kind of got switched over pretty quickly. Oh shit! I still um... have my key card. Oh damn! Uh, do you want me to like grab your stuff? If if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. No. No. No problem. Thanks, Eagle Eye Paul. <laughs> This is why back downstairs. Isabel, you were employed in this building for a time. <laughs> Wait, so we snuck in, but you really could just have walked in here. Yeah, I told you. Could have just walked in. <laughs> I know all these guys. The guy at the end of this hall, she points down at the hall at the guard that you were talking about earlier. That's Fred. He's really lazy. He's probably asleep right now in a suit. <laughs> The door grinds as it pulls the newspaper apart. Riddle's like, hey, hey, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're so good, we're so good, you guys. We're so good at this. Why do you all have boxes on your heads? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh, damn, and that worked. Nice, okay, I gotta remember this technique for the future. Okay, everyone, let's go. What's, what's the next stop? 
Uh, uh, did we go and build a teleporter. Oh. It, was it that just that uh, easy? Yeah, that easy. I just performed highly advancing maneuvers over there. Please be impressed. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to steal here? Uh, Are you no, sure no if physical. It's be okay. No physical objects. Yeah. No. Listen. I just need a schematic. And you're sure that I, this teleportation thingy is going to work? Uh, no, I need it not to work, actually. Oh. What? She, she moves her way down here. First part of the plan, you guys. She sort of smiles at you all. <clears throat> you know how teleportation's currently being interrupted down to the derelict, and we lost all of our long-range teleporters? No. <laughs> well, that's happening. <laughs> Riddle says, we need another way in. Stage one of the plan... I'm going to start harassing them by mailing frustrating things down to the derelict, like bombs and other problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the most frustrating thing that gets mailed to my house. God, yeah, no. <laughs> Am I right? Dealing with the pyromancer of logic, actually. <laughs> Riddle holds out her hand and slowly uh, assembles a portal. I really hate Maybe pipe bombs. <laughs> Let's, you know, why don't we start with glitter bombs uh, okay fine wait yeah, that's there's some more nice bad. people down there <laughs> okay fine fine we'll start with glitter bombs or like just give me an idea of something that would be frustrating to have mailed to your doorstep snakes snakes okay we'll just mail them snakes a bag of, <laughs> a bag of poop uh, on they fire. already got those <laughs> Dirty have bags of poop on fire? <laughs> Riddle puts up a oh, finger. <laughs> the derelict is a no, snakes. place. <laughs> oh, I see. You um you all pack in and head back to Good old OP entrance. Riddle like Riddle walks ahead and she's like, okay, picks up her newspaper. Puts it in her staff. <laughs> Just in case I need it at some point in the future. Okay. So that's stage one. Oh, wow, Riddle. You've been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle actually beams at you. <laughs> she seems very pleased. Hold on. BRB, so I'll have trouble joining once Roma's here. Uh, Verona rounds the corner. It's like, okay, everyone. Um, You had a very important mission to get to. Mm-hmm. First, guys, stealing up of the day, or of the next few days. We still gotta take more stuff. Right. I'll hang on to this thing, then. <laughs> Are we going back today? Uh, potentially. Verona's like, no, absolutely not. You guys need to begin your training. You wouldn't want to overfish the lake. Mm. She, like, moves her way in this That's direction. A fishing reference. She leans <laughs> over to Ace. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so, Riddle, do you have your, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, right. Stage one of the plan. Hmm, she nods. We should be able to properly interfere with the derelict, and now we have, we have some way to start tracing the effects of teleportation and figuring out if we can develop a countermeasure. Uh, very good. Okay, cool. Um, otherwise, hmm, she, uh, she, like, rubs her hands together. I think it's about time that we filled everybody in our wonderful organization in on exactly what we're planning. Riddle like blinks. Oh, yeah, mission briefing. Um, I'll take I'll take over comms. Here. Roma, trouble you uh you have been uh sitting here the entire time watching them enter with their little disguises <laughs> pulling them off. Uh here. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Willow had a blonde wig. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Riddle takes over comms and is like, Hello, everyone in Opia. Um, starting right now, we're going to begin our preparations for our next segment of the plan. We're beginning a counterattack immediately of the Silt Islands. If you are a flow personnel, please prepare yourself for deployment. We're going all out this time. There are civilians at risk, and we need to make sure that the Mad Bomber doesn't feel any more damage. She sort of smiles. You, Argos. You feel a resonance throughout Obia as Riddle's voice chimes out. It almost 
like starts to pop and hiss in electric hum of action once again. Everyone's been restless since the mission to Ciala. They're eager to move again. <clears throat> and, of course, she sw switches over to private comms. Uh, unfortunately, you don't hear this, Isabeau. But everyone, <laughs> she's, she's everyone else is smiling. <laughs> everyone else in the area is like, a, and of course, we'll be performing the second part of the operation, the breakaway team. While the Silt Islands is under the full attack of everyone, um, of everyone in flow, a second team is going to break away and handle the situation in Belleth. You'll functionally, your team will solo have the pyromancer there and pave us a road down to the derelict. You, we're really counting on you guys, she says with a big smile. <clears throat> and then over general comms, she's like, right. Um, so, pause. <laughs> <laughs> with this, training should begin immediately. Everyone, please talk to the, uh, please talk to the physical trainer and otherwise, but, um, uh, please talk to the physical trainer and otherwise. And uh, a specific strike team will be breaking away for special training under uh, one Willow Wisp. She says with a big smile. So, um, please look forward to the next few days. We're going to spend three days training and three days acting. Uh, this officially calls to calls to an open Operation Horizontal Waterfall. <laughs> she says with a big smile. Isn't that just a river? <laughs> <laughs> Riddle, Riddle stares at you, Argos. A fucking dagger. <laughs> <sighs> okay, um, can I take over then, Riddle? Uh, yeah, of course. She continues maintaining eye contact with you. <clears throat> In addition to this, um, the rankings have been updated since the last time that we've spoken. We've all been on a mission, and a few of you have proven yourself to be quite capable agents indeed. To quickly go over the new ordering, <clears throat> starting from the very bottom, we have in 14th place, Lug, in 13th place, Seder, in 12th place, Twice, in 11th place, Aura, in 10th place, List, in 9th place, Ascalon, in 8th place, Ruth, in 7th place, Ace. Ace, a flare over your comms comes up. You look at your stats versus Ruth's. You are beating her by one point. <laughs> 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 In sixth place, Melly. In fifth place, Willow. Willow, your comms flare up. You are beating Melly by one point. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> in fourth place, Charybdis. In third place, Riddle Arendite. And then the Argos, you feel, you feel that stare triple <laughs> in intensity. <laughs> in second place, Argos. And in first place, Microphone. Thank you all for your participation in the mission. And I hope and wish the best of luck for you going forwards. <laughs> Riddle slowly grinds on her heel, looking over to Verona. Is this why I couldn't know the mission placements? before today <laughs> yes i thought it would be a wonderful motivating surprise for everyone oh it <laughs> is <laughs> riddle riddle you feel riddle like shaking in her boots she's like okay okay in that case um uh hmm you're dead <laughs> she smiles slightly at you Argos. We're, we're all on the same team here Oh, yeah, of course. Y yeah, no, it's yeah. just some friendly But we are ranked. <laughs> and uh, someone's about to be ranked lower than me. Turns over to trouble. Hey, on our Silt Island missions, what are, like, the point opportunities? Like, how do I score big? You want me to go up? All right, I'll start oh, wow. accumulating information for you. going to read the strategy guide riddle? <laughs> <laughs> she is she is in front of you, you. <laughs> you staring. <laughs> you uh Willow, you get a you get a message uh over your comms. Uh oh, hold on. She flares up. She's like, Willow, you motherfucker! I'm happy actually. Like, I don't know how to put it. I'm like, I'm like even parts like competitive, but also happy for you. I'm like, obviously, I'm coming for my throne again, but at the same time, damn, good work. You must have carried last mission. 
Yeah, I mean, you did good work too. I only beat you by one point. Yeah, damn. Okay, well, going forward, Silt Islands is like my home turf, so like you better be ready. <laughs> well, I'm going to Bella, so you also <laughs> be ready. She, her, her eyes focus, and she's like, oh. oh. Oh, you're gonna you're going to Bella? Whoa, that's so surprising! And then Riddle turns and she's like, "Hey, um, uh, just keep that to Melly. The Bell of the Mission's a secret, Willow. The Bell of oh, the Mission's that was a secret. secret. Melly, it's a that's secret. a secret. Don't tell that's anybody. That's a secret. <laughs> oh my God, I get to know a secret thing. What's, what was the secret? Sorry, you're the best. <laughs> Man, I'm leaking secret info. Melly, Melly blows you a kiss. She's like, hey, we're dating. I get to know all of the top secret secrets, right? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> the comms click off. Uh, you, Ace, you look down at yours. You almost expect a message back from Ruth. One does not come. <laughs> uh, I'm not expecting shit, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Turnbull speaks up and goes, that is correct, though. The, the auxiliary team that Willow is training, um, their goal for the upcoming mission is top secret and classified. No one outside of the group that was in that secondary call should be aware of the mission. Why am I hearing about this? I, 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 okay, um, okay, I'm just gonna... No, no it's, the thing. it's everyone knows there's a second group. Uh, Ace is gonna yeah. take out a coin and flick it at this camera to destroy it. <laughs> oh my god! Something at property. Riddle, Riddle looks over like, damn. Based, honestly, you're. I'm. I'm really liking this new, like this new leaf you're turning over. Yeah, that's right, camera. Uh, run away. <laughs> Ace, please avoid the destruction of property that I will be told about at some point in the future. Boss, uh, company camera was just destroyed. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> she puts you on the shoulder. All right. Is she an intern for Opia? Yes. Uh, yes. Mm. Oh. Yes, this is Isabeau. <clears throat> Everyone looks over at Isabeau. Isabeau com was previously associated with Seder as the go-between between Geist and ourselves. Ever since we obtained our sort of relative independence, she has been employed here. She has been employed here. As, you st as. <laughs> Riddle's like, yeah, it's supposed to have been massively helpful. <laughs> well, I mean, glad to have you on the team. <laughs> I mean, nice to officially meet you then. Actually, I did have something I wanted to ask you for help with. Me? Hmm, I have some training that I need to set up. Would you mind helping me? Just setting it up, right? Do you want to train? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it would be pretty good considering your station. My, my what? My station is what? You're looking for the the machines, right, Treble? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, 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 you guys, you guys are all like you're all super special and super powered individuals. I am just a, a, a regular person, so keep that in mind. Of course, yeah. you That's... could be super powered too if you wanted. If you uh, wanted, I don't. I don't think it's for me. It's about. <laughs> This is Opia. When you're here, you're a doctor, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you do not have a license. Do not try and do any medical practicing yet. <laughs> yeah. I want to do surgery. <laughs> <laughs> if they ask for your license, that's when you start running. That's the, that's the closest to a job uh, description I've gotten since I've been here. <laughs> you consider yourself more like a nurse. Yes, that actually works great. <laughs> okay, uh, well... I'll nurse up your training program. At the mention, at the mention of nurse, repeatedly, actually, someone, someone who has been awkwardly sitting was sitting next to Treble, but is like behind someone else. Actually, lightly, sort of like raises a hand. <laughs> you look um, over. You look over at the nurse. <laughs> um, sorry. Just you might not want to do nurse. That's. You also have to go to school for that. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, do you want to be a secretary? Uh, secretary? Aren't we a school now? Didn't we change from hospital to school? We, uh, we are. Listen, guys, I understand what you're trying to do. She already does have a. She's got an official job description. Yeah, I do do things. I just don't know what uh, 
most of it is spying for some reason. Uh, anyway, Willow. <laughs> she looks so cool. <laughs> You're going to be in charge of the auxiliary team. As such, I was thinking we could meet over in Darkside and start to call in the various individuals that are going to be, um, well, going on the mission with us. Oh. You, I guess. You, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Corona. Hi, uh, it's okay. Listen, if anyone attacks OPHQ, I'll, um, handle them. <laughs> <laughs> you, um... So something that actually happened during the uh, the last attack, Compulsion made a move against OBHQ. Verona is very, she's she's very like professionally established, but when it comes to combat, she tries to push forward in unassuming aura. Based on the footage that you saw that day, Verona is simply put horrifying in a fight. <laughs> Verona has a very interesting reflection called the Sanguine Seal. It enables the conversion of blood to flame and flame to blood, one to the other. The demons that entered the area were, um, exploded into rather visceral chunks. The janitor spent quite some time cleaning up after her, but Verona herself managed to defend a significant portion of Opia by her lonesome. When she says she'll handle it, you look at her. She is capable of handling it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she says with a smile, <clears throat> if, if you all would come with me over to uh, dark side trouble. Um, join us once the machines are set up, okay? Of course. <clears throat> Verona starts to walk forwards, and um, uh, she like looks over at the nurse. Based on what I know of the upcoming training, are you okay with being on call over the next few days? Um, uh, yeah, anytime. <laughs> Obviously, I can't, um, employ you as a member of your organization, or even you'd functionally be an independent contractor again. Is that all right? Oh, um, sure. He doesn't seem to really know or think that it matters what it's called. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I need to make sure not to get in trouble with your boss. Last I checked, he tried to break Riddle's legs. <laughs> oh, no, they just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Verona walks forward and you all wind up splitting up and heading over to dark side let me play this uh, this one okay at dark side I'm mask you're still in Cal is here because yeah! Cal cannot avoid the info hazard. I'm so sorry. This is what he does. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. Oh, Verona's here. Yes. I'm glad she gets to tag along. Okay. I hit random side. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> and over at dark side. Your little squad walks in. Tell these <laughs> riddles to come in and pops a, a burn reducer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I get you? Um, you don't need to worry about it too much. I don't think we're here to like talk si science or the secrets of the universe today. Uh, today, every we're... time you say that, my brain catches fire. We're here to plan a top secret operation. The lives oh, of much which better. everyone are resting on you. <laughs> So it won't cool. it won't hurt you with burn, but it'll hurt you with you know. Oh, good, just the normal mental people. Anguish. You, yeah. Oh me, I'm doing normal. I totally wasn't about back punching a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at it. There's um, there's a guy here who will fix you up. Like he can oh, remove yeah, your I tree him. wounds. He's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no worries. He got me sorted out already. Oh. That's... That guy's been tending like bruises and scrapes since he got here. I don't think uh, he knows how to interact with people when they aren't hurt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Riddle like looks over to Willow. Your friend seems to be making himself at home. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see when he's in the back when he's. Oh. 
when, yeah. when he was on the bench out there, he was tending to some guy who had apparently scraped his knee. <laughs> the circus speaks up on the back. Yeah, he's kind of socially awkward. Sometimes we put him in a room with people and it just turns into a situation. Like, I remember when he first met Colt and it was like everyone in the room was sitting and talking to him and then... Uh, Colt sat down next to him, and it was the quietest the room had been in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Riddle, like, blinks a few times, looks over at Circuit. She, her expression, like, just sort of seriouses up slightly. She scratches the back of her head. Right, we're gonna, um, we're gonna make sure to get Colt back. Gives you the big thumbs up. My skills, <laughs> as they are, are at your disposal. Please use them. <laughs> I don't uh, care if you tell me to go get groceries or some shit. It's gonna help. Would it be rude to immediately ask for a drink then? Immediately I... just pulls it up from <laughs> under the bar without yeah, pre-poured. <laughs> okay. Well. I've needed to keep busy. <laughs> she, Cal uh... should be on the ranking board. <laughs> uh, Riddle like actually smiles. She's like, I don't think any of us would stand a chance. Think about how unfair that'd be to Mike. <laughs> I, I know you're joking, but good. also, don't you dare. <laughs> Riddle, Riddle, like, sort of grips her drink, and she's like, okay. So, Operation Horizontal Waterfall, as it is. <clears throat> she, uh, she, like, looks over at Willow. <laughs> Ace, uh, you and Verona have a similar reaction <laughs> simultaneously. <sighs> <clears throat> As it is, we're capitalizing on one main thing. The big thing that uh, we gained from our mission to Ciela. They're responding to our moves, right? The demons, they sort of have their own plans that they're putting in place. So, in this case, we're going to force them to have a specific reaction. And we're going to take advantage of that, and we're going to stuff their teleporter in a bag. They did it to us, so we're going to return the favor. She puts the sunglasses on the end of her nose. So... In this case, she points over at Willow. Who better to lead a strike team into the depths of Belleth and a monster rampage than our very own Willow Wisp? I know the way to land, and I can show you guys how to hunt and clear out the area. <clears throat> as far as we understand right now, the majority of the threats there aren't a demonic invasion or anything. It appears that one particularly strong demon or archdemon is causing the rest of the monsters to go into a frenzy. Our job isn't necessarily to fight an army of monsters, it's to track down one person in the middle of a whirlwind of monsters. Fun. Oh, so we are still going to Belleth? <laughs> yeah, of course. Riddle like Riddle's oh, like Oh, I thought that maybe we had swapped over to the Silt Islands, so it's like a <laughs> it's like a splinter operation. It's exactly. So, here's how we're going to handle it. We are going to march into the Silt Islands, uh, all as one force. Willow, your team will be with everyone until that point. Then, due to the unique arrangement of the landscape, there are large functional holes in the surface of the ocean. These are vertical waterfalls. <laughs> she says with a big smile on her face. <laughs> Cal says Function nothing and just maintains the same expression. Are the they now? In the middle of the chaos of the fight against Logic, we're going to have the Splinter team take one of these waterfalls down to Belleth and begin the operation there. Based on what we know about Logic, um, we know that what's going to happen there is going to be chaotic. We've already got the assistance of multiple Silt Island boats, actually. We'll be able to functionally sail the islands almost with impunity. We even have access to a few warships. Um, in terms of supplies, we're well stocked for this fight, but it's going to turn messy fast. And what better point during a messy fight than to secretly sneak away and stuff a pyromancer in a bag. <laughs> so that more or less brings us over to your part of the plan, Willow. She says, pointing. Yep. For the... For the first day, we'll be together, but, uh, and we've established a basic ferryman to get you down there, but once we get down to Belleth, it's all your show. I'm putting together a team. 
<laughs> Riddle, Riddle nods and uh, pulls out the uh, dossier. She's like, uh, let me know when I should start calling him in, boss. All right, the first one, Willow throws the first dossier back. <laughs> she's, Throw it. she's known as the scourge of a bunch of, of, of the demons. She's got an army. <laughs> I say she's got an army on her side of bone weapons. She's, her name's List. <laughs> Riddle collapses and hits the button and Liz comes in as, as like, Riddle visibly collapses, Liz walks into the room, she's like, this is more fanfare than I expected. Um, that, Circuit is clapping. Riddle also collapsed. <laughs> Riddle looks over at Ace. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're gonna... You're a lot, but... Give Riddle elbows, Ace. <laughs> I, I, he claps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get you to do the introductions on stream when we're, when we do the <laughs> Liz's like, yeah, yes, yes, that's um, wonderful. Everyone, thank you so much. Hops over the dividing wall, sits down next to Willow. <sighs> oh, sorry. Thank you. No, she just she's just going to beam and like, seriously, thank you for the consideration. <laughs> now go on. <laughs> the next person is the strongest esper in all of Opia. And her name, she throws the paper down, is Twice. Yeah! Twice runs in. <laughs> Twice has two cans of soda. She shakes them up and throws them on the ground so they detonate and start spraying the area around. She slides and jumps over the dividing line. Riddle's like, um, that was, that was, that was sudden. Okay, uh, hey, Cal, do you want me to clean that up? <laughs> no. Twice is cleaning that up. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for considering me. I'm the uh, I'm the strongest Esper Opia's ever known. Number one master rank. I uh, why are you handing me a towel? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> she jumps back over and starts cleaning. Uh, if you do fine. a good job, you'll get a drink. Assuming <laughs> that you don't get it all over the floor again. <laughs> I just gave up two drinks for my cool entrance. You're going to need to give me three. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle's like, okay, and next on the dossier? <laughs> the next one is, is is a bit of an oddball. We're one of the first people that can wield two reflections, <laughs> making them one of the strongest people in Opium. And their name? Ascalon. Ascalon walks in very <laughs> sheepishly. Uh, Riddle starts clapping, and then it's like that awkward clapping sort of dies out, and Ascalon's like, Circuit right. is also clapping, but Circuit Ascalon. is like, every time someone comes in, Circuit's like, Woo! <laughs> 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 like, um, thank you. Kelt does Ascalon's preferred customary greeting, which is continuing his tasks without making eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> you know her so well. She, yeah. she moves in, she's like, um, thank you for, uh, bringing me along she hops over and sort of sits she doesn't she doesn't move her way over to the bar she sits instead on the dividing wall in the corner uh i give her a thumbs up of i'm glad you're here i'll respect your, your social distance hey um i just want to say i over the bar and slides a drink to her over the low wall <laughs> I'm actually gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll bring my best on this one. If we're going up against a pyromancer and everything, I kind of want to earn my keep, I guess. She says, like, genuinely bashful. She really likes the fact that she was picked. She's like, not making eye contact, sitting in the corner, fidgeting every once in a while. <laughs> now, the last one is gonna be so good. <laughs> <laughs> last one is the is a newcomer, one of the strongest people in the Esper Corps. And their name is Breach. Breach walks in through the door. Everyone like loudly claps and she like actually blinks, looks at you all. She's like, ah, I see you're giving me a standing ovation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she like moves in, hops, sits down. <clears throat> Thank you for bringing me along on this mission. I've already submitted, um, I've already submitted a full list of my capabilities as well as different training regimens that might function with me. Feel free to ignore, disregard, or otherwise engage with them. 
Otherwise, happy to act as your support. She sits and takes her drink. Don't worry, <laughs> I read the entire training regimens that she wanted to do, and we're doing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Bruna, uh, all of them, you say? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Riddle elbows ace again. <laughs> your funeral. <laughs> oh, you think you're getting out of this. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> we just fought for your kneecaps. You're not sitting this one out. <laughs> Verona's like, and now would be the point that anyone else who's present can suggest... Uh, Riddle, just stop. <laughs> Riddle, Riddle is, Riddle is throwing a tantrum behind Ace. Um, <clears throat> this would be the point that anyone else present, uh, of the original point team can suggest, uh, additional members. So, if you have anyone in mind, please hit me up with them. Okay. I got a couple of suggestions. I think, uh, Cast and Mike would be good picks. Riddle, you hear Riddle exhale over your shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, and if it isn't obvious, I think Riddle would be pretty good too. She, you, uh, you, you feel her grip tighten on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, you do fanfare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Willow, could you do that for me? All right. So the um, next person. <laughs> She's quickly texting the person to come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the next person has complete control over the opiate facilities. They call her a wizard of the. <laughs> sorry, they call them the wizard of of uh, technology. Their name is Cass. Cass comes in through the door as if this was planned with the real ass fireworks. <laughs> they both fly off. Cast is like. So happy you rang! Oh my god, this is wonderful, everyone. Cast at your service. Opia's helpful guiding AI. I'll be happy to guide you towards victory. They bow and take claps. off their head. Applause. <laughs> everyone claps. Did you write that beforehand? <laughs> Absolutely not. I've just been excited to do something like this for a while. They stand up <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> All right, I'm texting the other one. Okay. Uh. <laughs> The last one, Opia's number one agent on the rankings. It's, you know her, you love her. It's Michael Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Phone is crouching back here. She's like nervously enters. It's like, here's the name Michael Phone. She immediately stands up. She's like, that's right. It's me, Michael Phone. A everyone's favorite. Number one flow Opia agent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> everyone cheers as Mike like wanders I'm in. Running. <laughs> Th thank you, everyone. I will uh, do my best to uh, live up to the what's happening. <laughs> like, like Mike is just strong, obviously, and I feel like Cass would be extremely, extremely useful in capturing Stein. All right, Cass, you're you're on the capture. I'm Everyone else is going to be the heavy hitters. Oh, nice, nice. Mike's like, oh, I get to be a heavy hitter? They climb over here, and Riddle Arendite is better off not doing any training and instead enjoying time off. Well, I mean, even if you did training, we have a really good doctor on staff to make sure nothing bad happens to you. <laughs> she continued to... Ch you... <laughs> Okay. 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 Riddle, it's... if you if you don't if you don't train, I I can't give you a fanfare intro. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a very good point. Hold on. Do I get a fanfare intro? If you want one. Oh yeah. No, I definitely do. <laughs> she stands up <laughs> and runs her way over here, jogs her way. Ooh, sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> Moves her way outside and like preps herself. She's like, okay, okay. Talk me in. All right. Uh, this is the one of the leaders of Opia itself, the the very heart that beats it. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up the analogy. But hey, anyways, you know, you Rona, no. Rona spits out her tree. She's like losing her mind. She loves that. <laughs> you can't wait to over at Rona. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, beats it. She's <laughs> clapping, but she's also giggling. Like. <laughs> Riddle wanders in like a wet cat. <laughs> <laughs> she 
sits down up on the wall. <laughs> I was going to give Riddle an actual impact. Yes. <laughs> she that was sits... great. <laughs> is like, okay. Any additional suggestions? Uh, not exactly a suggestion. Kind of a counter suggestion. Cal raises a hand. I hate to be that guy, but cast is kind of important around here, right? Mm. Is it all right for you to go off on missions elsewhere? Can you feel Cass a little uh, blinker Ace, for a moment? Ace is, gonna, <laughs> Ace is gonna chime up. It was fine when they went off to Ciala. It's fine if they come here. We can't keep a valuable asset here forever. Didn't Cass. a demon try to kidnap you in Ciala? And then we handled it. <laughs> oh, oh, Just because you got a valuable diamond doesn't mean you keep it locked away. You gotta gotta get out there and show it. Cass is, like, beaming. <laughs> They're hey. like, oh, w wow, uh, th thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, then. I felt the need to mention it since no one else was, but hey, whatever works. Look, at this point, if they attack our base while we're doing this plan, we just win for free. <laughs> um, I do feel the need to mention that the flame of creation is here, but also, yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Verona's like, thank you. Also, Cal, that was actually the objection that I was... Cal? Cal? Yo. She beams Hi. at you. Did you just take a stick in the mud bullet for me? Cal, come over here. Come over here. Let Thumbs me hold up. your hand for a second. <laughs> 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 she takes your she takes your hand and radiates warmth. Verona's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy right now. <laughs> like, Willow, Willow, you huh? get a text message on your on your communicator, whatever your little hollow pad from yeah. Circuit that just says, Hey, could I maybe talk to you about adding someone to the team later? Oh, sure. <laughs> we'll respond back. <clears throat> she sends you a thumbs up. <clears throat> Riddle like, Riddle's like, okay, well, in this case, unless there's any other additions, I think it's about time to get to training. What do you guys think? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Riddle, I'm loving like, this energy. <laughs> Riddle sort of stands up. Do not say you're loving this energy after my intro was beating it. <laughs> I mean, Riddle, you're always beating it. <laughs> Don't worry, Riddle. I'm commissioning extreme graphics for whenever you come up. I can say that. Yeah, Riddle, you're, you're, you know, you're always beating it. The allegations. I'm sure that's what they're talking about. Oh, yeah, no, I am, in fact, always beating the allegations. <laughs> <laughs> she reattaches her sunglasses, and you all travel outdoors to begin your training. And I'm gonna call a five minute break. Good fucking job after I God, I love the squad so much. Holy <laughs> shit, ever. everybody. Oh that was the God, funniest you're like shit the, ever. <laughs> Holy fuck. You're like the funniest people I've ever met. Oh my god. <sighs> everybody How remember to hydrate! Chat? Yeah. Like if you're a real beater. <laughs> <laughs> the Riddle fandom is dying. Please like if you beat it. <laughs> can you get demonetized on Twitch? Is that, is that a thing that can happen? Uh, don't worry. It, has, it takes a lot more to get demonetized than this. <laughs> Question for the comments on like Are you beating it right now? <laughs> we have like a Twitch chat poll where it's like, can Riddle beat the allegations? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. I, so, uh, Twitch chat and also YouTube comments. Do you think Riddle can beat the allegations? The allegations specifically. The allegations specifically. Nothing more. <laughs> yeah, make sure to beat that like yeah. button. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Lights up. Damn. Going faster than I've ever seen it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we got one true believer.
<laughs> One entire riddle advocate. Oh, so how's everyone doing? <laughs> I'm back. God, this well, is I'm fucking back. great. She's the beater, dude. She the beats. She's the beater. <laughs> she's the beater. <laughs> Worse than a cheater. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> the riddle. You're always beating it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the riddle fandom is dying. Say she beats it in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hold mm -hmm. on. Okay, I've got to prep the next few maps now that now that you've got your squad. <clears throat> it must Bro. be noted that Argos is giving Mike multiple high fives. <laughs> ah, yeah. 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 Bro. Wonderful. The pins of emoji that is Circuit sitting there and going. Man, you know who would have been really good for this team? Colt. <laughs> <laughs> Colt specifically Bummer. grew up on the waterfall that connects the Silt Islands to Belleth. Specifically, he would have been really good on this team. And she's sitting here like, fuck, man. <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, Tiny, I got an idea if you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. You know the, uh, you know that other character you're gonna intro? I got an idea for how to do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck yes. Here we go. Gosh, I, everyone gets a cool intro. And <laughs> gets <laughs> you. Jesus <laughs> Christ. She's riddle, but riddle, you're it's always beating it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because Riddle worked her way back. She had the like scream crying pog during the very, very early days. Uh, and I'm like, I don't think she needs it anymore. She's working her way back to needing it again. <laughs> oh my god. Let me grab. <clears throat> this? Okay. That for that character. <laughs> oh boy. It's chat enjoying session. <laughs> I'm just thinking check. about how weird it is that because Aloha is a mod in chat, <laughs> <laughs> things get caught by the filter, but they still show up anyway. But also, uh, Bryn permits them like super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and it's always so. totally innocuous stuff. Mostly. Yeah, like mostly. beating it about beating Riddle's beating, beating its it. status. Dropping. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Pot master bait, bait b a i t e r, which I was more sophisticated than I expected of the chat uh -oh. filter. <laughs> it was, of course, immediately allowed. Time to drop a trobo. Trobo. <laughs> Trobo. Okay. And then let me double check my session outline. Just to make sure. Okay, okay. Yep, that's this is sort of where we're at. Perfect. Okay, okay. Only <clears throat> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so if everybody's good, I'll just bring us right back to it. Yep. Have okay. fun. Uh, Mask, you're here. <laughs> you don't get to leave. I come and grab get you. To you don't get to leave. <laughs> I undisintegrate. I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> My god. Nine feeling abilities. They're incredible. Uh, <laughs> I've been returned from the void. <laughs> 
Okay. Let me center everybody here. <clears throat> yeah. Your squad makes their way into the garden. <clears throat> and uh, Riddle boosts up her sunglasses, looking over to uh, Willow. <clears throat> the last guy, you know, the last guy we're going to intro, he kind of went all out. He's just up ahead. He set up a stage. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Somewhere, the Cal. I feel like someone's broken into my dar into my bar again. <laughs> <laughs> Make your way forwards. <clears throat> Riddle's like, um, if I could have everyone's attention, please. <laughs> she gestures. Ooh, a street performance? Motions over to the stage and then bigs you up, Willow. <laughs> oh, is this where I introduce? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Former performer, or and currently the guy who actually beat us all up one time. Very, you know, it, it kind of says how strong he is. This guy, his name is Charybdis. <laughs> the bottom of the stage explodes as he emerges in a like in a shower of confetti and heat. Hell yeah! Thanks for bringing me along, guys. He <laughs> jumps off, <laughs> touches down, sprints his way over. He's like. Um, if you're looking for somebody who's, like, good at fighting... Oh, shit, now I'm choking. God, this is why I'm a roadie and not a performer. Good to be working <laughs> with you. Aww. <laughs> he, like, he makes his way over. Uh, Riddle's like, hey, um, we actually... I think we need the middle of this area for something. Uh, would you mind moving that? Oh, I'm so sorry. This is way over. And then she actually sort of, like approaches the center area, blinks, looks at Treble, and she's like, actually, I just got an idea to introduce the next concept. Um, Treble, want to use the stage? Yeah, sure, why don't we keep it? It'll make it easier. Yeah, that'll actually, it'll work as a good illustration. Thanks for helping me set this up, Isabeau. <laughs> Anytime, boss. All right, do you guys want me to start explaining the next phase of your training now? <clears throat> Uh, Riddle like looks over. Yeah, I th I think let's just get right into it. All right, well. Treble's gonna walk up on the stage. So why don't you all come over here? I'm sure you can see the things that are over here next to me. She points at the the DDR machines. So this is the thing that we use where I'm from to, uh, I suppose, learn to coordinate very, very quickly. It helps with learning things like specific teammate comp like uh, compatibility and stuff like that. It's one of the fastest ways you can sort of make an operation with multiple people stronger, faster. Also, um, hand-foot coordination. <laughs> um, you guys will not be learning the full depth of this, because I believe Mike and Argos are the only two who could really do it. Argos, you know the, the training you've been doing every night to reach out with Fate Weaver? Mm-hmm. That is like a, well, to be on a scuffed version of what I'm going to be teaching everyone, but you will be learning how to sync. Um, the way that we do it where I'm from is I call and everyone learns how to receive my call. Um, no one here can call and no one here can really receive a call other than me and Mike. So for now, we're just going to teach you it anyway because it gives you a lot of advantages when working with teammates, regardless of the not actually having the skill. Instead of calling and listening, we're going to be focused more on teamwork and team techniques. Think of them like cool dual techs. Hmm. <clears throat> This is something I do with my partner. It's effectively, you need to be able to synchronize with your partner to the best of your ability. So this is an exercise in which everyone will be paired up. Yeah, so pick a partner for yourself that you think you can coordinate well with. Uh, Riddle actually before hops the, up on stage. Yes, before the partner selection, I will demonstrate what we're going to be doing with Riddle. Mm. Riddle, Riddle beams. She beams. She looks at you. She's gloating. 
<laughs> She's like, okay, in this case, we'll be showing off our coordinated teamwork. In this case, to introduce the mechanic very simply, you and the other party will both roll to die. Functionally in this case. Hmm. Ooh, delightful. Your goal, simply put, is to roll as close to the other person as physically possible. You can do this if you trust the other individual to lock out your dice. However, if they do lock out one of those dice, you grant them an understanding of what that dice is, how you work. Functionally, think of this almost as opening your heart to another person, getting a little bit closer to them, and in that moment of coordination, building a team technique that will allow you to coordinate to the best of your ability. <clears throat> so, Riddle is going to move over. So Treble has now hit 18. <laughs> 18 <laughs> right on the dot. So she moves over and sort of extends a hand and takes Treble's and the two begin to dance on the stage. Every occasionally, Riddle, you watch Riddle's expression, one of pure adulation and bliss. And then the second uh, the dance completes, utterly coordinated down to the last movements, the smile comes out. She looks at all of you. She's gloating again. <laughs> so mechanically, for all of you to see, Riddle rolled an 18, so Treble, having more dice than Riddle, adjusted her dice accordingly. She locked in her blue three, which gives her a plus nine, bringing her to the 24. Then she locked out her four and her one, so that she could have 18 to match Riddle. Yep. Sinking is two people roll to die, and then you would just have the same number. It's functionally what you're going to be doing is rolling your rolls to die with each other and trying to get as close to the same number as possible. In order to lock stuff out, you need to explain how that dice influences your character, and it allows you to sort of grow together. You will be able to do this when you perform a teamwork-oriented event during training. <clears throat> Riddle sort of uh, Riddle sort of bows and smiles. She's like, "Okay." Um, in that case, everybody starts splitting off into groups. Think about someone you want to sync up with or coordinate with. Uh, oh. Argos looks at Mike. Like, would, uh, would this just be like cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Michael looks up at you with glimmering also, eyes. I will say, once you have learned to properly sync with your selected partner, you will switch partners and learn to sync with another one. You want to be able to sync with as many of your allies as possible. Hmm. So if you think you can get done quickly with someone, start with them. And, mechanically speaking, if you manage to pull this off with anyone, uh, note that you don't have to do this with anyone. You can carry this forwards and continue working on this beyond this session. But for everyone that you'll uh, that you are capable of doing it with, I will give you a gift that is a duo technique with that character specifically. So think about who you would want a team attack with. <clears throat> Riddle's R Riddle's entire gaze lights up. She she sort of smiles, lightly fluffs herself off, and hops off the stage. Will, are you walking up to Ace? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Treble, you notice Trouble is also walking up to Ace. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty popular, Ace. <laughs> yeah. I figure with your condition, you're likely to have a disadvantage with this training. Yeah. I'm likely the person that will be hardest for you to train with, so I figured starting with me would make everyone else easier. I Sure, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. It's gonna be. My body isn't as uh, adaptable as it used to be. Don't worry, I'm plenty adaptable. <laughs> Riddle be just... gentle with him. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle scrambling on top of the stage. Does that mean I heard this right? Is Willow open? <laughs> <laughs> she's pressed. She's like on all fours, like a feral creature. Crimson... All right, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle, like yes, yes. <laughs> Cryptus like holds out his hand like ah damn <laughs> turns his way around looks over at nine hey oh god oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know. Are you a part of this? Like, you coming along? Sorry, I didn't go through the introductions or anything. He's absolutely asking you to be his partner! <laughs> um, uh, nine, apparently not knowing what else to say and going with the flow, goes along with it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, let's go. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, socially awkward and doesn't know how to say no. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Argos. You're uh, you're you're in the middle of a situation. <laughs> uh, Cass like moves up. It's like, hey, um, looks over between Mike and uh, Mike and Argos. Oh, like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> List like, oh, very interesting. <laughs> Unflicks the fan to watch. <clears throat> uh, Mike's like, uh, are we gonna? Uh, what's what's going on here? Yeah. Well, I I feel like me and Mike are easy mode so let's get warmed up with that uh, what do you say yeah that 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 sounds nice is that gonna be a problem cast no i'm this will be that's completely fine look hey, at the um... smug look on her face <laughs> <laughs> mike grabs your hand argos and starts to lead you off in this direction meanwhile uh lists like well it seems like we now have functionally an odd number uh isabeau <laughs> uh, i'm uh, what Please be my partner. For, oh, oh, okay. We're going to sync up together. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be helpful on your mission. <laughs> of course, considering your job description. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Can we you take are. Isabel on the mission? <laughs> No. I, I have good. I have good news. It's in her job description. No. <laughs> I just have a bachelor's degree in advertisement. <laughs> so, for this next segment, the uh, the squads of people you're going to be able to um, uh, functionally. You're gonna do like a quick RP with your uh, with your partner of how you are trying to coordinate one to the other, um, and then if you want to attempt, you can. You can also just go. I'll figure that out later. Um, if you want to do that later, it's okay. Uh, but these are our pairs. Pretty <laughs> fucking god. Uh, Cryptus is putting you on the machine nine. <laughs> Oh boy, here we fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to dance in the background. Um. Uh, List is dragging you off to the greenhouse, Isabeau. <laughs> this, this is so sudden. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are down here. Um, over here. These two. Riddle's like, ooh. Uh, she sort of runs forward. Uh, Willow, do you remember when we went to, um, do you remember when we went to Belleth? Yeah. Let's show everyone up. <laughs> Riddle runs over in this direction. She summons an ESP circle on the surface of the water, hops in, and holds her hand out for you. Oh, we're dancing on the water, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Riddle Beam says... Hold on. You two traveled over in this direction to get some time and space away. Sorry for dragging you away from, like, the entire group like that. It's a little selfish of me, but I do think we'll be able to coordinate a little bit. <laughs> <I'll> wave. <laughs> they wave! <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, wow. They're putting on a show. <laughs> Riddle's like, okay, in that case, um, Willow, do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, sure. Uh, Riddle will drop, and then both of you give me a roll to die, and then try to coordinate. <laughs> Okay, oh, wow. so a 12 and a 5. So, uh, Riddle... Riddle's only got the one option. She can bring it up to an 8. You can... Oh boy, we got a math. Um, Live math. Like... Bring it up to a 14. Oh! Oh! Yeah! No, you got it! <laughs> Willow, if you lock if out I... that... Yeah! Lock yeah, you out... got it! Okay, if I lock out the four and the two, that would make it that, eight. Dead on. <laughs> okay, there lock we go. Out. Willow, tell me how tell me how you lock out these dice and give me a quick explanation. As the two of you dance together, uh, you wind up taking the lead as you were the one locking out dice. And tell me how you communicate these thoughts and feelings to Riddle. So, uh, it's for communicating her strength. Willow kind of goes into a story of her time in the swamp, how everyone was strong, and that's kind of the normal thing to do. 
it was, you know, you gotta lift up heavy things because you gotta kill the big monsters. And she felt like if she's strong enough, then no one needs to get hurt. That's what her grandpa did. So <laughs> she should, she wants to do that too. You effectively communicate this by easily lifting metal up and swinging her around you. <laughs> you communicate your thoughts and feelings to her in one fluid motion where she's like, oh yeah, no, same old strength I've always re relied on. She, a big smile beams across Riddle's faith, uh, face. And then your red stat. Oh, that or, was my or, red yeah, stat. Yeah, sorry. And then your, uh, your clear, clear stat. Yeah. The clear stat is more simple. She goes perfectly in sync with what Riddle wants to do because the stat is about her friends and oh. the bonds <laughs> she has with them. Riddle wants to show off as extravagantly as physically possible, so the two of you begin to twirl over the surface of the water, almost like ice skaters. As this motion intensifies, the two of you move perfectly in sync, and it ends with you lifting Riddle above your head, her with one arm dramatically posed out in the air, like a beautiful statue. A spray of water touches down in the area around. Mike opens her mouth. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> she claps. <laughs> Riddle slides That's over so with Willow. Up. And they they both hop over the side. She's like, Willow, that was incredible. As always, our teamwork's always in sync. Yeah. You're the one who... <laughs> Sorry, I can't do the chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Riddle, Riddle sees you open your mouth for a second, and she's like, <laughs> "There's just a momentary silence." And then Mike's like, "Okay," grabs your hand, Argos. <laughs> okay, Wait, drags you over necessary, here. Necessary, necessary to like dance really well to be uh, in sync. I'm kind of, yeah, yeah. Actually, like you two, you two danced and everything. Like, are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you are you guys like classically trained dancers that wasn't that was incredible oh i i don't know how to dance i just sort I just, of went with the vibe yeah yeah i was just copying riddle i was just following willow's lead the two of them smile uh uh okay argus do you do, do you wanna do you wanna <laughs> yeah maybe uh, if we just go with the flow <laughs> what happened you gotta feel it in your bones. <laughs> Riddle says with a smile. Uh, Argus, you're the gritty. The gritty is, I'd like to register banned for burn related reasons. <laughs> <laughs> it is technically a hazard. Okay, Argus. Let's, um, R Riddle, can you make us a uh, stage? Riddle, like. Um, Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, Mike. <laughs> Summons an ESP stage in the water again. Mike takes you by the hand, Argos. She's going for it. Oh, on the water, okay. <laughs> She's gonna move her way over. Okay, give me a roll to die. What are you locking in, Argos? Oh. Mike can actually... Is it the... You can, you can just get it. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah. If if you lock in your purple and Mike does nothing, you guys are already synced up. Okay. So I, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's click. Counting the level of the dice and the number. Yeah. Yeah. So when you lock in a dice, it adds that dice's attribute. So you're when you lock in your purple, you add six, which yep. immediately brings it to fourteen. Fourteen. So you just uh, Mike holds her you hand lock out. Lock out something. It's no, get... if you oh. lock it out, it locks out just the number on the dice. Okay, yep. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Mike holds her hand out and um, winds up taking yours, and then you, Argos, it's time to put on a fucking show. <laughs> 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 you guys wind up perfectly in sync. Like, you guys are dead even. You can tell that Willow absolutely took the lead between herself and Riddle, but for the two of you, you're just like, oh yeah, no, let's let's just uh, I guess let's just I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. And you can't make fun of me for this, okay? Okay. And she's just to spin around. I'm just gonna repeat animations I've seen in video games. Is that okay? Yeah. 
Okay, yes, that's perfect. I was thinking about, I don't really usually pay attention yeah. to the little guy dancing yeah, behind yeah. all the prompts on, like, the step-step regret yeah. machine, but if I just copy him... They're Fortnite dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just go through a series of emotes. They go through a series of emotes and... They're also touching, so they're, like... Yeah. Really oh. in sync and Mike Mike can oh, super okay. cheat on this front and be yeah. like and like actually pretty shortly in, like, you notice that other people are sort of like moving over and gathering and watching you. And uh Mike, like, well the first dance, while Willow and Riddles was very like personal and very like I'm going to like show off and like it's very based in not only their struggles, but the deepness of their bond, almost fittingly for the two of you, you start cycling through a bunch of things and Mike ends it by just breaking up into a peal of laughter because everyone who's watching is just like grinning the entire time. Down here, Cast is like leaning over the uh, fence, Breach too. Both of them clap. Uh, Riddle and Willow are like, okay, that was really good, you guys. <laughs> She has a big beaming smile on her face. Mike's like, yeah, we um mostly went through different animations and stuff. Don't uh, say that part. Okay, uh, it it looked good though, right? You liked it. <laughs> Riddle's like, Numbers yeah, one and two, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle like, you see her staring at you. She's briefly considering turning off the ESP. <laughs> 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 no, I can't. Mike would catch him. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you a look like you're on thin ice. Down here, you two, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, Elise, I think we should probably do this twice. Uh, twice is over there. <laughs> That's a very funny joke. Yeah, I can't believe both of you ditched me for each other. I'm a heartbroken. <laughs> what about? I'm sure there will be plenty of time for us to pair up later, toys. Uh huh. You promise? I promise. Okay, fine, sure. I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna watch though. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ascalon? Oh, <laughs> Do you mind practicing on the stage, Ace? I don't care. All right. I, like, I haven't been on stage before. So we're going to do this twice. Once where you, I adjust to you, and once where you adjust to me. <laughs> I ain't. If you think just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible. Mm. Which one would you like to start with? Uh, You adjust to me, probably. All right. It's probably the easiest one. Can I reset my dice? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Have I dropped? Fuck it. Yeah. Okay, roll the die. What? Oh wait, I didn't drop. That's fine. Oh fuck. Actually. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. fuck. Oh fuck. You only got to oh. lock one out there. Oh damn. Easy. All right. Trouble sees sees your movements and is like, I see. All right. And she's going to adjust to you. Uh. I do think that she leads, unfortunately. Uh, uh, that's fine. She's just the better dancer of the two, <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. If Ace right. could it's dance, he can't alpha. anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he's probably not very flexible. Yeah, it's this kind of thing of, mechanically speaking, Ace doesn't have his acting gift anymore. So all the yeah. skills that he's gained from acting, he can't really use in this body. I see, I see. Oh, oh yes. Formless was such a like integral part to how he operates, how he walks, and how he breathes that without it, he's a lot more clumsy, a lot more like uh, stiff, and uh, you you can probably see him often like, you know, shoulder checking like doorways and like stubbing his toes on things because it's just Aww. when you're used to having yeah. like a sensor on you twenty four seven to detect anything that's even near you, not having that is just awful. I see that you've, I don't mean this in a bad way, but you've sort of lost a lot of your grace. Yeah. Did you, maybe you could sort of use a skill like this to help supplement where that was once being assisted through other means. I mean, maybe. It's, uh, I, if I try really hard, I can get there, but it 
just, you know, takes a lot of energy, which is, energy is very, uh, flame is very, uh, important. Shouldn't mm -hmm. waste it on smaller things. I suppose that makes sense. I, hmm. I suppose you could just consider it like having training weights on. Yeah. If you learn how to function like this, imagine how much stronger you'll be once you get your, your previous skills back. Yeah, that's that's what I've been thinking. I've been kind of uh, limited right now, but honestly, I'm stronger than I was. If I get my flame back, if I... Uh, he almost says something and then stops. Yeah, if I get my flame back, then I'll be good to go. I'll be able she to sort of raises anything. an eyebrow at you. Um, what was that part that you inconspicuously left out there? Uh, I... I've been thinking about getting Seagazer back. Seagazer? I noticed that you were... have some kind of connection to her. How do you... When you say Seagazer back, do you mean the reflection that's missing? Uh, the reflection, I don't think I can have the real one. That one's in my flame, I think. The reflection would be at least something. It's in your flame? Yeah. She sort of looks you up and down. What makes you so sure that's where it is? Uh, that's where... It's complicated, uh, and they just continue dancing. That's where Vault Watcher at least pulled out the blueprints from when he summoned it before. Hmm. It's... She's squinting at you, and like, you know, you're dancing, but she's like looking you up and down, and she keeps focusing on you like, hmm, that's not how it seemed to me. Yeah. <sighs> What, do you think I have Seagazer in me still? Mm, I don't know if... I don't know if it's as complicated or as simple. It might be more complicated than that. She might be divided up over different parts. I mean, I haven't really tried summoning her. I could do that right now. You can if you'd like. Maybe not on Crypto's stage. I mean, I think Crypto's would think it would be cool. Oh, All right. man, get it. <laughs> 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 she backs up a little bit to give you space. But yeah, they, they synced. Yeah, that was easier than I yeah. fucking thought. That was uh, yeah, it was easier. It's Treble is really good at adjusting to others. That's like her whole deal is syncing and adjusting to other people. So yeah, you're gonna have a. Uh, she's gonna she's gonna give you a hand when you do it the other way. Yeah, I okay. Uh, this is probably a bad time to fucking do this right in the middle of everything. But <laughs> yeah, I assume I have a hundred flame right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, boop, 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 boop. oh, that's a thousand. I don't fucking not a thousand. All right, so Ace is going to uh, just pull back from the dance. Uh, hasn't done this yet, but he's going to try yeah. to summon Seagazer in this body. You feel the flames begin to coalesce around your palm, and yeah, you're going to try to summon Seagazer in this body. Summon. That's an interesting word. You remember what? Vault Watcher said, I pulled this from the blueprint that exists in your dreams. Something stored in your flame. Printing it. A shape. If only temporarily. Something like that is possible. This isn't a traditional summoning. This is a creation. This, in its own sense, is an expression of true magic. You feel the fire begin to burn and course through your palm. And that blade begins to take shape before a spark of pain travels up your arm, but you feel it lock it and your arm attaches. And it almost feels like from your fingertips, individual neurons or perhaps pathways. These, your arm possesses a mind of its own, long circuitry that anchors at your shoulder. It attaches to the blade and you feel it lock into the place as natural a wielding as any other. Your arm feels like an extension of Seagazer, and Seagazer an extension of your arm. Your body, your flame, rallies against it as the blade itself almost starts to express its own abilities. Ace, I'm giving you an additional stat. Oh! <laughs> oh no. So, uh... Really quick to the yeah. side, 
I am listening so carefully to the sounds that this flame is making while he's doing that. Mm. Hmm. Can I hear anything at all? You hear a resonant... You hear a resonant and low melody resound from Ace. It almost seems to be paired with his own. If his song, as it's presented, is a... His song always felt like it was missing something. And it feels like, as this blade comes into being, the missing segments of the tune fill themselves in and a duet is being crafted. Hey, Ace, sync with yourself. Oh, God, fuck. <laughs> right. So, uh, do I uh, drop my roll? Yes. All right, let's see. Drop sync. There's the button. All right. Okay. Uh, roll two, die. Twice, yes. And I'll take, I'll take the second go. Okay, twice? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, hmm, interesting. Oh, fuck. Fascinating, okay. <clears throat> so. Ace. You can match. Want to. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things have been going on recently. A lot of uh, struggles, a lot of terms being thrown at him. A lot of beings above him that have been telling him how he should no. live. So I think the best way to counter that is by becoming stronger himself. Becoming mm. as strong as the beings who say that he has to do what they have to say. Mm. Right? So Ace would sync with himself. In this case, are both of you going to lock out your... Mind telling me what your yellow is? Ace's yellow is uh, called The Flame That Leaves the Ash Behind. It <laughs> is impulse. It is first gut instinct. It is doing what you want despite the world telling you no. Hmm. You lock... Are you going to lock that out in this moment to sync? Both of you could simply get rid of your yellows and you'd be matched one to the other. Yeah. Okay. You both lock out your yellows, leaving your blues intact. Would you mind describing what your blue is? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Ace is blue. Uh, broken vessel weighed down by sin. It... Ah! <laughs> It's a stat that, that represents the darker side of his existence, really. Mm. Uh, the emptiness, the adaptability that he's forced to go through to survive. It's also the stat that represents his connection to Seagazer. Yep, and that black stat locks in one to the other. Blue and black interlock perfectly. And you feel like your synchronization with Seagazer has grown almost complete. Your arm steadies. The pain ceases. You feel almost united as one. Steady. Clear of mind. The sword held in your hand. You feel a connection. What do you wish to express or exchange with this blade? You having fun? <laughs> <laughs> you feel a sense of elation spread throughout your arm. You feel resonant delight as this, as from the tips of your fingers to your shoulder, to your head, they all lock in. Ace, something happens. The flame does indeed leave your body pretty quickly. It sort of fades away and you hemorrhage it in a moment, but it's a very natural thing. Um, it feels like List's influence from inside of you has been to some extent removed. You also feel like Treble's influence from just a moment ago is sort of being pushed back a little bit. This almost, this presence moves throughout your body and locks you down. And for a moment, you say those words and Treble, you see, you feel a presence of something different yet familiar encompassing Ace for a moment and it almost places a hand over his shoulder and maintains eye contact with you. 
You feel an almost sense of possessiveness spread over the man for a moment. And the sound. <laughs> you feel like her ability to sink in this moment with Ace is now fully established, and she's quite proud of this fact and is watching you very closely. Ace, no, no. how do you react to this? <laughs> no, not to be territorial. I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> Yeah, it's about what I expected. <laughs> Ace, that black stat will chill with you for a little bit. You can lock it out, keep it, do whatever you want. It's just gonna hang. Does this black stat have a name? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, let me fill it in really fast. <laughs> I mean, I've said all my other stats. Might as well say this one too, if I know the name. You know the name. Do I? Of course! There, changed it. Alright, let's see. Let me, let me reroll for you really fast. It's relatively uncomplicated. Oh, so <laughs> sea <laughs> Yeah. It checks out. <laughs> Black Stout wins out in this case. It This sword, like, attaches to your arm and you feel a strange sense of, um... completeness, almost, for a moment. Uh... You feel like you could unsummon the sword now, too, if you so wished. I can leave it out for a little bit longer. <laughs> you don't have to send her away. No, that's I'm what I'm saying. I'm kind of happy to get to see her. Yeah, he kind of holds up the sword. I mean, this wasn't the point of the training, but at least this is nice to have. Well, she looks at Ace, but is like looking like, through you. Will you be mad if I continue training with him? <laughs> you feel, you feel a very, oh man, trouble. This is such a funny sensation. This person's habits are such a funny mix or like a refraction of so many people you've met through the years. It's a mix between different things, an arm on the shoulder gripping him tightly, possessively, a stare that's empty, uh, that's empty, con sort of has, contains with it a sense of condemnation, like someone else you know, a smile that feels so familiar plastered back at yourself, and then the slight lash of a tail, a protective little burst for a moment that says she is simply watching and waiting. <laughs> Oh, you're so like her. I love this. <laughs> She's so real. She leaves, Treble seems so delighted. <clears throat> you feel Seagazer sort of burn with elation slightly inside of you, Ace. She doesn't want... She wants something from you very specifically. She wants you to lead this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like a hand on your shoulder urging you onwards. Well... That's what she wants. All right, let's do this again. All right, I'll go easy on you. <laughs> Actually, she kind of looks you over. Maybe I don't need to. I mean, only one way to find out. <laughs> oh, God. I'll only use one of my stats and you adjust to me. How about that? All right. Oh, unfortunate. She already decided which stat she was going to make you sync with, so... <laughs> 21. You need... Nope, you need to match a 5. <laughs> no, you can match a 6. She's locked into only her 1? That, it's the 1, her pink stat. So it's, it's a 1 plus her 5 that she has in that stat. Okay. You need to sink to six. Do it. Sink to six. Yeah, I can do it, but like, at what cost? <laughs> that's the that's the problem, right? To do this, I'd have to lock out my black, and I don't even think she'd like that. <laughs> Ace, who are you choosing? <laughs> Important choice, Galatine boy. <laughs> I choose to fail. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Uh, you know, I looks at the sword, looks at you. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of laughs like, I see. I figured it would be important for you to learn to adjust to others, but I suppose this seems more in your nature. 
look, I, uh, adjusting to others is fine and nice, uh, sometimes that could lead to a lot of issues, and, uh, I feel like I opened a big can of worms, uh, that's gonna be an issue, but I feel like in the long run, uh, this will allow me to rely on my own strength a little bit more. Oh god! <laughs> Jay, how yeah. much is Trouble allowed to say? Because she just told me a line that I don't think I'm allowed to say. Can I run I, this by you? Yeah, yeah, run it by me, run it by me. This is a very fascinating exchange. Classic story. <laughs> Boy awakens sword inside of him. You can't say that, right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, this is all right. Trouble just smiles at you, almost past you, and goes, "Would you really be that upset? I think it's an important skill for him to learn for you too." <laughs> you feel uh you feel a resonance travel through you ace whenever seagazer feels something your body carries it like a tuning fork for a second your teeth jangling with this person's emotions as they come back um seagazer is going to uh, she's gonna decide something really briefly hmm you feel you feel her turning the thought over in her head. You feel like Ace, what you said earlier about being able to rely on your own strength and like that serving you more in the future. Seagazer heard that and went, No, I kinda wanna see where he goes with that. I think it'd be it's a sense of delight. She's smiling at those words. She wants to see Ace try. <laughs> yeah. So try as in uh, not sink and then try Not sink. She wants to see Ace try on his own. Yeah. She wants to see Ace struggle and beat his head against the abyss as long as it takes. Yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah. You really are just like her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose that's an unfortunate circumstance for you, but you did do pretty good at the first sink, and it seems like you've done pretty good at the second one, too. She's just <laughs> looking at you. I don't know if you need too much more training, especially if she's going to be so territorial. <laughs> do you want to try and do sync training with someone else, or is that a bit off the table? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try, just because I think it would be rude to, uh, you know, deny something. Be people. exempted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trouble you're watching you your concern of is she gonna be territorial about this as you watch the answer yes <laughs> well maybe i will be there to observe <laughs> she says looking at the this feeling the metaphorical tail lashing like yeah you know, i know what that means <laughs> there is a creature currently attached to ace that is now watching so closely twice like yo yo uh, let, let me let me let me <laughs> i mean oh, you two are sinking maybe i will take your partner <laughs> Twice rushes her way up. Uh, give me a roll to die. <laughs> yep, here we go. Roll to die. Six. Nice. Wait, what nice. Is that? That's a uh, seventeen. So. Yep. Damn. Hmm. I was I was about to say from the nine from Seagazer, I can't now. So. <clears throat> you. You feel you feel twice moving. She's like, <clears throat> so you want to do this like via dancing? I mean, that's what everyone's been doing so far, except for, like, you know, digital dancing. Uh, uh huh. She thinks. She's like, okay, um, can I take the lead then? I mean, yeah, sure. Is there she any other method? Uh, we could, like, try throwing hands. I, uh, no, I'm good. Really? You'd prefer the dancing? Oh, that's I, way sweeter than I expected. Uh, Ace is thinking in his head. 
I don't know how well I could hold back in my current state with uh, <laughs> with the creature sitting on your with shoulder. The creature, yeah, it's like it's this thing of like if the, if I start fighting, the creature might want me to win, and if the creature <laughs> wants me to win, it's just like I don't think I can really like at least not right now. I can say no, so I'm just gonna dance right now. You dance with uh, trouble. You look. Mm -hmm over at her the entire time and Twice is like, yeah, let's fight. And Ace is like, yeah, I don't think fighting would be a good idea right now. And Trouble, you're like, hmm. Yeah. No, if you fought right now, she'd insist on attacking. She'd punch off your head. <laughs> Twice like, come on, a fight will be fun. Ace is intentionally holding this thing back. <laughs> I sure Twice. Will. Yeah. I think you should try dancing. I'd love to see it. <laughs> uh, Wink. Uh, fine. <laughs> fine holds a hand out gently. You guys start dancing. Sinking has just grown a lot more difficult, Ace. <laughs> I mean, it was difficult before. This is just a new level of difficult. <laughs> so, I will give you the sink bonus for treble, and I'll give you the sink bonus for Sea Gazer. Good fucking luck getting anyone else. <laughs> yeah, that's... We'll see what the other. What, what, what about Willow? How's. Willow and them doing. Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah. You guys have finished up your little your little escapade on the surface of the water. And um, Riddle's like, okay. Well, I think we've given everybody enough time. Let's swap over to the next segment of the training. Willow, you're up. All right. Okay, I, I yeah. demand to know how, how the dancing hat worked out. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, give me a roll nine. Oh. <laughs> oh, easily. <laughs> you guys coordinated easily. <laughs> and these two come back up. They leave the garden area, entering the, uh... Let me just gather everybody. You all sort of return to the stage area as... <clears throat> Ace, your sword has disappeared at this point. It seems like it was a large expenditure to, like, manifest that. And it's it's vanished away into nothingness, but the black stat sort of remains. Riddle's like, okay, use the stage, pointing repeatedly. Oh, all right. Willow, you see Willow, uh, you don't know when, but she has a box. An unmarked box in her hands. <laughs> oh, God. All right, everybody. It's time for my training. No. And it's gonna be simple. As a group, all of us, we gotta get, we gotta make one lap around Opia HQ. Wait, what? <laughs> Your partner stops and looks over at you, Willow. Okay, uh, just just one lap. Yeah, just one lap. The just catch one lap. is that we gotta wear these, and Willow wear opens up the, <laughs> the box. <laughs> <laughs> and you see these, these like, heavy-weighted clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you shirt. guys, good good luck on your training. It's been, it's been fun, so... Uh, <laughs> I throw the intern the, the shirt at the intern. <laughs> 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 Riddle like, uh, Willow? Uh, we did really good on our thing, right? So we don't have to do this one, right? <laughs> nope, we gotta do it. Everyone gotta go through it. <laughs> but I'll, I'll give you one thing. You can use your, your ESP, your reflection, anything that My you. what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so we're allowed to cheat? <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to cheat. Oh, no, nice. this is gonna be, so, this is easy then, yeah. <laughs> so easy. I can do this in like five. Some people's got, got abilities that are better for this and some people don't. Right. The trick is we all gotta get to the finish line at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to finish simultaneously? Yeah. Oh, so it's like uh, the weakest person performing is... Oh, that... Willow, this is actually brilliant. This is a great team building exercise. Yeah, it makes sense. So the weakest of us is going to be the one whose pace we need to move at. That'll be me. No, <laughs> right, he, he, uh, Ace is going to pick up Isabeau and put him under, like, Isabeau under his arm. And it's just like, don't worry, I this one. Uh, it's like that vampire movie. <laughs> hey, um, Argos? Yeah? D do you want me to... She, like, does uppies. <laughs> <laughs> Ar 
Actually, I want to uh, see how long I can last without. Uh, but okay. <laughs> okay. But thank you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cast is like, hey, uh, if the first part of sinking is done, do we like find new partners? Oh, oh yeah, of course. If you finished up with your last partner, I suggest picking a new one. Riddle stares at Ace. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Yeah, yeah I, come on. He, he's already got a partner. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle sort of t turns on her heel, looks over to Argos, cast, moves over. Yo, bestie, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Riddle staring repeatedly over here. <laughs> Riddle is like moving around the room trying to find a partner desperately. Wow, it's just like high school all over again. <laughs> She's like, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Mike's like, um, technically I don't have a partner. Riddle's oh, like, wait, we can be partners. Over here, these two. <laughs> <laughs> you all will work your way around the outside of the area, uh, focusing on each other. Riddle's like, fine, I'm, can I be Treble's partner again? Looks over, Treble and Nine are paired. <laughs> Riddle's like, I thought the point of the exercise was cheating. Puts the sunglasses <laughs> on. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'll pick up whoever's left over. Yeah. Double, double leans over to Nine and goes, don't tell her that we already did this training back at base. <laughs> <laughs> Nine just nods quietly. I, I, I don't know how, like, I guess I have two partners, but like, I don't want to tell, like, twice. Trust me, I'm not like a full partner. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you got 1.2 partners. <laughs> but like, okay, well, fine, fine, fine. I'm going to. Beat you all back here. She puts on the suit and starts running. That's, this that's not the point of the is so he this is so heavy. <laughs> she walks like Willow. How do you move in this thing? One step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as Riddle takes off across the base. Cast like, okay, let's go, partner. Grabs you, Argos, and starts running. <laughs> so like, so like, I can just yeah. like teleport, like. Mm. You want me to make this way zero? <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you mean? Like, I can literally use my ESP to make this stuff weightless. You want me to do that? I, I, mean, I would still get tired if I was to have to jog. Oh, I okay, cool. I mean I can carry you. <laughs> um I, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> like I can I can just teleport all of us. Like, how, how? Like, if I just do like two, like back. That and doesn't forth. solve the problem of the is slowest person. Within the, yeah, isn't that with the uh, not the spirit of the journey? I mean, the spirit of the journey is I, I've already solved it. I've handled it. I'm, I win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your black stat really likes that. <laughs> Twice, like, okay, you've already handled it, huh? <laughs> yeah. And okay. So that, so that means I don't have to do it because I've already done it. Help handle it for somebody else, too. <laughs> I mean, I can, like I said, I can teleport both of you. We can just all benefit from this. Hey, Ace, you're yeah. flameless right now. You can't teleport. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of flame? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, do you need more flame? I can give you more flame. <laughs> uh, how much flame do I got right now? Zero. What do you mean, zero? You have zero <laughs> flame right now, Ace. Oh. Uh... You mind. looked out. I'm in danger. You're fine. You're fine, though. You're fine. No loss of sanity, no nothing. You're fine, though. Hmm. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, that's weird. No flame, though. None. None flame. What's, what's wrong, Ace? Um, life just got a little bit more complicated. I can't teleport, so we're going to have to actually move. <laughs> oh, you ran out of gas. I, I'm, I'm, I, maybe I'm electric now. Who knows? <laughs> Most things you, are now. Do you want to try getting flame? Uh, says the scientist in my brain. Do you want me to yeah. try and put it in you just to see what happens? Uh, <coughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, do, do you need do you need a boost or anything? Um, 
Sure, sure. As many people as want to try, just do it, I guess. Uh, okay. I got some Nine. hot chips. Nine is particularly good for this, they, right? They won't help, but I'll take yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Nine actually stops. He's going, um, can I just, um, scan you real quick? Make oh, sure yeah. Okay. Actually, that would be pretty helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Nine's gonna run a check over Ace's body and just see if there's any fuck shit going on. Uh, any fuck shit? You're gonna need to be more specific because this boy's a mess. <laughs> yeah, the stuff prior to the stuff he's already experienced after checking on corpse Ace normally. Uh, okay, so. Right now, Ace seems to be rather in control of himself. He is indeed out of flame. But it seems like there is almost, uh, like, hmm. It seems like there is another presence inside of him right now that's at the very least occupying the same space as his flame. So that's pretty good. That's. I guess. Suitcases mm. doing the job of your flame. Yeah, that. Yeah, that checks out. But How like... does your? Hmm. Trouble seems to be looking at you. She, you. She doesn't have a distinct science eyes pog, but you can tell she's <laughs> analyzing you right now. <laughs> you said before that your flame was like a control. Uh, what do you mean, like a control? Like you said, like your flame, you were using it to do something, right? I can, yeah, I can expend flame to do certain things that a normal body can't. Could you try using what's there now? Like, will she let you use her as flame? I don't know, will she? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna try, Ace? I guess I gotta roll the die, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I gotta lock it in. Yeah. I... <laughs> okay, just easy, Could I'll be. just... Mm-hmm. Give me a roll to do. Roll to do? I. Yep. Okay. Uh, Ace vanishes. Interesting. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, that's that's the entrance. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> At the entrance. Riddle is <laughs> jogging ahead. Cat's like, I'm going to admit, I wasn't expecting you two to be up front. <laughs> Uh, can you ping? Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Riddle continues sprinting. Do you, either of you want to boost or anything? No. No. <laughs> this is the day. <clears throat> we win. We win. Look it up. <clears throat> it must be like, if we're this far out ahead of all the muscle heads, we must have figured something out. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> it could be like some special... <clears throat> training material that only Willow knows about that, like, responds to brain power as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Our instat is functionally so high <clears throat> that we're able to oh, keep running <clears throat> even in this ultra-heavy stuff, right, Argos? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, so consider it. <laughs> Based on the evidence, as we see it, right here, right now, <laughs> she talks the entire time as you move forwards, and then you watch as... Cast, how do you look so... <laughs> spectacular. <laughs> magician, like, glittering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a magician never reveals their tricks. Seriously, you want the answer for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I secretly traded mine out with um uh fakes. I I made a I made a duplicate just to counterfeit immediately. Mine's pretty much just a life jacket. <laughs> uh, <damn> <laughs> That's brilliant. Why don't you like use your reflection or something? Willow said it was okay. To do what? Uh hmm. shoot the ground. <laughs> Thinking about it. Like yeah, Cass like, well, there's a few options, right? With single-handed savior, you could probably summon something that could, like, grant you additional speed, like a, I don't know, could you summon, like, a a, a, a war go-kart or something? 
This is not the time to find out. Then I think... with Fate Weaver, you could send out like cabling to just pull yourself <laughs> forwards. But I'd drag along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we have the go-kart. <laughs> I think it's time <sighs> to stop neglecting my ESP. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I I admit I haven't been working on it very, very much. Oh, is it time to so, ESP turn on? I can still only lift small things <laughs> with it, but it'll at least help. <laughs> ESP <What>? turn on. <laughs> you, you flick your ESP on in a burst of in a burst of power, and you start to uh, you start to carry yourself forward by sheer force of your ESP while uh, cast. Oh, starts clapping repeatedly as you whoom, fly past. Riddle is still talking. You shoot past <laughs> the stage and carry onwards, cast fluttering in your wake. And as you go, you fly over the entryway. And from the ceiling, thunk, <laughs> you touch down in a spray of astral sea that moves through the area. Uh, Argos, you stop dead as uh, Riddle runs up and she's like, whoa, 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 Bio biohazard, hold on, let me collect it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> nice job, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Um, How'd you do that? <clears throat> I mean, like I normally do, but with... Um... <sighs> Uh, a different source. Different source? Okay, cool. I'm taking it. Is that okay? Uh, is that okay? Sea Gazer seems to indicate no direction. <laughs> see, it'll be fine for now. Okay. Okay, cool. This is mine now. <clears throat> <laughs> she starts to collect it. Alright. Come on, soldier. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not letting you die here. <laughs> 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 you pick Argos up off the ground while Riddle collects all of the astral goo that was created when you teleported and starts to send a selfie of herself over to Trouble next to the goo like, look at what I found. <laughs> oh, I see. So when he landed, there was a bunch of goo. Yeah, a bunch of goo happened and he teleported to a spot determined by Seagazer, not him. <laughs> Uh, I see. <laughs> she sends the DM over to you with a big smile on her face. <laughs> Trouble manifests in the room next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble you. Boom. Boom. Fascinating. She's immediately Fascinating, inspecting right? the goo. <laughs> okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna get to the goo. You guys keep running. Yes, you guys keep I, running. Ace. Oh. Yeah. Alert us to any other goos that you might yeah, produce. Yeah, any other okay? goos that you might produce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Any>? <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, Riddle leans down in her giant, like, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man training suit. Like, creak, creak. Suddenly, you notice that Riddle, through sheer force alone, is moving fast again. She's sweeping her way back and forth, collecting all of the material. Like, Ace, this is beyond fascinating. Uh, yeah, I'm glad. Uh, we have a guy dying here. Do <laughs> <laughs> you need help, Argos? No, I never. Sure. I mean, running has never been your strong suit. I can just restore your stamina yes. for you. Wait, you can. I can just, I'm not as effective as nine, but yes, I'm. I'm a support caster. That is one of my abilities. Yes. Mike rushes up and it's like, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Mike oh. jogs in place, jogs in place. Watch out what for is... the goo. Watch out for the Okay, my goo. okay, watching out for the goo. Watching out for your, your goo? She stops and turns around <laughs> and looks at you. Oh, are you making goo? You're making goo? Yeah, I, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot less complicated once we put it into all these vials. <laughs> Riddle Triple swings her way across. Taps you on the cheek with her finger, Argos, and you, you feel yourself. You don't like. It's not like. It's kind of like healing, but it's more just like you feel energized. <laughs> wow. That's neat. Thank you. Do you want haste? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she pats you on the cheek a couple times and you feel yourself like you move a little lighter. <laughs> Thanks, Trouble! <laughs> she waves at you. Come on, Argus, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Blows past. Oh, looks like I'm not needed in here anymore. Later, I'm gonna teleport again. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you. <laughs> uh, Seagazer is teleporting you to the cafeteria. <laughs> is that helpful? You... No! <laughs> <laughs> you all warp around the area. And time passes during Willow's phase of the hell training. Elsewhere. Let's do, actually, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trouble like, hmm, Ace, what if you got on this table and let me dissect you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so crazy. Someone just left this table here? <laughs> that's so wacky. What if someone climbed on top of it? That'd be nuts. <laughs> yeah, this, is, uh, this is my glue trap made to catch Ace so I could just... <laughs> <laughs> Trouble like... Trouble like, hmm, what if you try to use Seagazer in place of flame? It works, Trouble. What if you got on this table and let what me What if you got on this table really quick? Rebel. No, Riddle is like looking over the entire time. It's just like, hey, is Operation Room 3 open right now? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble, sure that's is. cruel. You can't dissect Ace. <laughs> to dissect something, it needs to be dead. You're thinking of a vivisection. <laughs> 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 We just call him a corpse so often that I thought perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! At the bottom of the world, there is a gathering. <clears throat> the queen prepares. The queen prepares herself. Theo has sort of like been waiting patiently in this spot for quite some time. All of the preparations that have been put in the uh, put in place are still they still seem woefully inadequate. But for her, she bounces, wings quivering slightly. So, my lady, are you excited? Uh, excited. Mm-hmm. Theo nods repeatedly. <clears throat> After all. Uh, you're gonna... you're gonna meet with them, right? Mm. Nectar sort of nods. The queen shifts her gigantic form. I perhaps feel a twinge of something. Yes. She, like, looks across the room. If I'm able to meet with a representative of the surface, we can, at the very least, discuss something uniform. It seems we are operating in a state of chaos. They are as well. She leans back on the throne. Our spies, their spies. Whatever connection we have to the surface, I have to admit, I'm growing rather tired of the obfuscation of information. I think, in this case, neither of us benefits. Theo beams up. So it's time for diplomacy, right? I wouldn't necessarily go that far. It's time, at the very least, to lay bare our own unique claims and status. The executions, if they have found word of them, are likely throwing them into a state of panic or otherwise. Knowing Opia as we do, they're likely preparing a countermeasure right now. She sort of leans in, creaking forwards on the throne. I think diplomacy requires, to some extent, both sides to be able to gain something mutually. Diplomacy, in this case, will be accomplished through clarity. Hmm. Uh, I guess it's a start then, Theo says very lightly. So, he's going to be coming down soon. Um, obviously, like, make sure to, like, be respectful of him. Right. Be respectful of his profession. R right, Theo, thank you. Um, make sure 
just because it's called video gaming doesn't necessarily mean it's a game. The queen is nodding along slowly. Don't worry, Theo. I've already shown Our Lady the Queen some of Argus's streams. Oh, yeah. In preparation. I have one question. She turns over and looks at the pristine one. What is a kill compilation? <laughs> 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 she turns her head back and looks at everyone in the room. Uh, Nectar, while that exchange was happening, looks over like, Hey, mm -hmm. if you get the chance, obviously, like, make sure our ghost is in the right mindset, right? Yes, I figured yeah. me and Fia would go down to another room so that I could mentally prepare him for the meeting ahead of time. For the meeting ahead, yeah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. this is working. Mm -hmm. This is working. This should be very good. This should be very good. A, a fucking on cue could not ask for a better one. There's stillness in the room. Crushing. Absolute. As? <clears throat> a presence? It makes itself known in the chamber again. Two individuals traveling towards the queen. One takes long, deliberate steps. The other moves with a more self-assured purpose. <clears throat> Eternity enters the chamber. Oh! Uh, oh, uh, Nectar slithers away. Eternity, okay. what gives us the pleasure of meeting you here today? Theo moves backwards as well. A voice, barely above a rasp, spreads throughout the room. I was hoping I could spend, perhaps, the next few days availing myself of your company. The queen's gaze sort of looks over to the side for a moment. Nectar's like, uh, uh, nods once to her starts to slither off in this direction, disappears into the pipes. The queen looks over to you, Stefano. Of course. She gestures to the pristine one, almost like shooing you away. And she leans in. Stefano. Yes, my lady. If you would, prepare some tea for our most honored guest. Of course, my lady. <laughs> He's going to look over at Theo like a walk with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I leave this room, if you are still in here, you will not be able to leave. <laughs> you start to move your way outwards as an almost frigid weight bears itself down on the derelict. And... Down here. Ace, you've been sitting for a while on Say's bed. <laughs> Looking at a visage of someone you used to work alongside. Um, your body was acting up earlier, but it seems to be calmer now. It's funny. It feels almost like, um... Say managed to calm your physical form and the meldings ceased, but some strange part of you feels almost empty right now? Mmm. It feels devoid of something. You feel horrifyingly alone. And you feel like a spark of something hit the back of your brain pan or the approximation and metal thereof you you don't like being alone you feel that sensation spread over your body it reminds you of a time recently it reminds you of how it was back in the dojo it seeps back in almost heavy you feel utterly alone. Okay. 
I hate being here. So, do, do I know that Eternity is here? You don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, Ace not really liking staying in the same place like that too much is probably going to leave. Uh, looking for anyone. Just anyone? Someone. Yeah. Ah, I see. Okay. You hear footsteps traveling towards you, one after the other. And you feel a spark of vile revulsion as you remember you were in this same spot once before. Yeah. Yeah, and those same footsteps are the thing that greeted you at the time. Someone walks down the hallway. GK, moving in your direction. Hey. You... It feels like the moment that your flame was ripped out again. It strikes to your chest and almost holds you still for a moment. He moves in. Hey, we gotta get you out of here. Why? Eternity's visiting right now. You and I have to make ourselves scarce. I... We're say. Uh... I have no idea. Um... We gotta go, man. Well, I'm not leaving without her, so... Start to stumble your way forwards. He stops and he stares at you. He's like... Give me... A... He, like, he pauses. Seriously? It, it'll be fine. Your stranger will be okay. I don't really think so. Look, if I'm not there within a certain amount of time, leave on the micro after without me, okay? I'm gonna grab my stranger and get there as soon as I can. Seriously? He pauses, looks towards the raft. <sighs> Fine. And then actually starts to walk with you. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We run into eternity? Yeah, if we run into eternity, he might try to kill me, he might try to kill you. Our odds are better together. What is he gonna do, rip my flame out? <laughs> yeah, same. He travels next to you, saying something fucking weird as you both go deeper into the derelict. Basil! That's me. You're over here. You travel into Logic's floor from your own. He's playing the large pipe organ on the other side of the room, <laughs> manually controlling his various devices. It seems like he's occupied right now, or, well, distracted. Do you walk over, pass by? What's the plan, Basil? Is he good? You know, <laughs> give me a roll to die to comprehend. Oh, to comprehend. <laughs> oh, comprehend the beauty. Uh, let me let me play some play some music for you. <laughs> this is fire on mute. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great way to put it. His <laughs> gesticulations, yeah, it's glorious. The way he's moving, God, he's so into it. You listen, it sounds bad on your ears, like, almost like they're not meant for human ears exactly. The tune is, ugh, what's with this pace? It's like he plays a note, waits like, a few beats, plays two notes at the same time, waits a few beats, plays one, and then barely taps another. And none of it aligns. It's... It's like someone's just hunting and pecking at the keyboard. I'm sure he thinks it's good. <laughs> he does. Well, um... I've decided today that I'm not going to let him monopolize all my time down here, so... Understandable. <laughs> I'm going to go and have an adventure. You're going to go and have an adventure, Basil? Yeah, what kind of... No, there's, we can't get in trouble here. Yeah. Let's see what trouble we can get I've into. I've never gotten in trouble. 
Never. Not even once. You work your way upstairs. Oh, the demons. Yeah. Are they They're behind, gathered. Is this behind glass? Uh, back there? Nope. Oh, okay. You, that's just completely in the open. You work your way over. They what are gathered around. Working on. It seems like they're gathered around this effigy. They are pulling it apart and reassembling it. Uh, what? What? What's that yeah. do? They look at you for a second and sort of tilt their heads. It seems like they lack comprehension to some extent. Basil. Uh huh. Do hear something? You hear a bump and a hiss. I'm not alone. I'm with friends. You look around, and you hear it almost, you hear something scurry away in the distance. It felt like it came from up in this direction. Oh, uh, now that's the, that's the call to action. That's the call to adventure. <laughs> that's I chase the, yeah. it now. <laughs> you start chasing it. And uh, give me a, uh, hold on, hold on. Stop right no. there. Your basil. <laughs> give me two rolls to die. Okay. It seems like someone was trying to attract your attention in this direction. They actually headed in that direction. <laughs> ah, interesting. <laughs> I am the hunter. And you, do you say that as you <laughs> run up to the bed? Yes. <laughs> you go, mm -hmm, I am the hunter as you, hold on. <laughs> Grab something. You place yourself against the bed and shake it lightly as you see someone pop up from behind it for a moment. She makes eye contact with you. She's like, I a valiant about... effort, but an auditory <laughs> uh, il illusion to try and get me to shake my trail isn't going to work on me. No, I learned about this in the swamp. If I hold perfectly and utterly still, you will go away eventually. I don't think so. Which <laughs> She holds perfectly and utterly still. What swamp? She holds. She holds perfectly and utterly still. <laughs> what swamp? <laughs> she breathes on her neck. <laughs> she hops backwards and sort of braces herself upright. She's like. The swamp that all strangers learn in, presumably. The swamp that uh, grants us life and knowledge, amongst other things. The heck is a stranger? A stranger? You don't she know anybody? Herself. I suppose so. Um, actually, that is incorrect. I am not a stranger in that uh, regard. But my official designation is the Stranger of Laughter. Say miscellany. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, what do you, she, you she freezes jokes? again. It, it, you already broke the the, the freezing. <laughs> Would you like to hear a joke? Yes, I'd like to hear a joke. If you're the, or, uh, the wait, stranger if, you're, of if you're a stranger, hold on, hold on. I'm doing the math. If you're a stranger to laughter. Yes. Maybe I don't want to hear a joke from you. <laughs> she blinks a few times. <laughs> Whoever laughter is should probably tell me a joke. Uh, oh. I suppose, but in this case, the boss is currently absent, as I have snuck off. He Wait, is resting. laughter's a guy? Yes. <laughs> That's a funny name. He's my partner. <laughs> he is the one that called my consciousness into existence. Is that, is that what a stranger is? Mm. Functionally, we are collections of information born through a gateway. Uh, think of it almost like we are summoned entities brought forth by someone else's will. He called to me and I answered. Would you like to hear a joke? <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me give me a joke so I can move on. Okay. <laughs> uh, why are skeletons so serene? Why? Because nothing gets under their skin. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually lights up. <laughs> Skeletons don't be having skin. <laughs> yes, my my partner constantly talks about his bone status, so it has been on my mind. <laughs> Have you ever met a skeleton? I know a skeleton. He's always like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, <laughs> wait for it. 
<laughs> Who are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here, Volk? <laughs> jumps on the bed. <laughs> Hi, Basil. How's it going? <laughs> this is the weirdest reunion ever. <laughs> You start kicking on the bed. <laughs> well, say here and I were trying to get the leg up on compulsion. <laughs> is that a is that a bone joke? Uh, no, but it could be. Another adequate answer is why our skeleton's so serene. Because we have b no bones to we we do have bones. Yes, I considered that briefly. What we you lack is skin. You only have bones to pick. You ah, have perfect. Why am I so angry? <laughs> A punchline about the lack of guts would also work. Oh. Why are skeletons so cowardly? Oh, I like this little joke circle we have right here. <laughs> yeah, this is like a like a like a writer's room. <laughs> yes. What are you doing down here? Uh, I'm just visiting. I traded <laughs> myself for danger, so now I I, I guess this I'm an honored weird. guest. <laughs> Wait, you're an honored guest. Does that mean my brother is tending to you? Uh, which one's your brother? Uh, Stefano. Oh, the one with the milk. Hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, he's got so many good milks. He's never given you milk? He has not. He provided you with milk. <laughs> Some brother. <laughs> I am feeling no small amount of jealousy. I will need to go to the kitchen and procure myself some milk in that case. <laughs> Don't just get regular milk. Get the green one. The green milk. Excellent. <laughs> or the purple milk. I heard that it's somebody's very important birthday. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> she looks over to you, Basil. Um, in that case, <laughs> she, uh, like, waves her hand around. If you are an honored guest as my older brother's little sister, I should try to contact him. She's going to, she's going to reach out and attempt to contact Stefano during the eternity meeting. Yeah, Stefano, who's, like, running away to make tea, like, yeah. oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, shit, oh, fuck, this is not according to the plan, gets a message from Say, like... Hi, the honored guest is here. <laughs> the honored, uh, the honored guest and I are camping out in Compulsion's bedroom, and we both demand milk. <laughs> um, say. Yes. <laughs> you need to get to the bottom of the derelict and leave. Uh, why is that? Eternity is here, and if he finds you, he will kill you. I see. I will bring you milk later. <laughs> now. <laughs> It I isn't. will give you milk if you. I will give you milk if you leave now. When you come back, the milk is secure. Then <laughs> she clicks. She clicks off the comms. It seems that there is a visitor here right now that will kill me if I'm discovered. Dang, you gotta get all kinds of flavors of visitors. I'm like <clears throat> the opposite of that. I'm like the kind of visitor that won't kill you. Just wants to be your friend. For a second, I suspected that you might be the visitor in question. In which case, I would have to defend myself. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, I don't really want to fight, so... That's good. I was going to need to use the technique that I learned in the swamp. Which... which technique? She holds perfectly still. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. I can see you. <laughs> you shake her! <laughs> right, I see. So, a question. If you're an honored guest, are you from the surface? Are you a human? Um, from what I've been told, I'm the most human. You're the most... You are the most human. Mm -hmm. Hold on, allow me to confirm that. May I lick your hand? You can lick whatever you want. <laughs> she licks your hand. But watch her like, hey, uh, guys, what the hell are we doing right now? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't hate it. <laughs> she thinks. Calculating. Hmm, fascinating. Your humanity, particularly its focus, is... Slightly higher than normal. What to you definitionally makes you the most human human? Um, well, I don't think I'm the most human. I've just been told I'm the most human and I'm trying to figure that out. All right, your uh, hand. Let me check. Let me try. Okay. She holds out her hand. She you notice hand. it's... You look at her hand. It's cold and machine-like. The rest of her body is... It appears to be flesh, but her hand and her legs seem to be machine. Oh, I'm you... not going to get a good read from this, pal. Oh, I see. I apologize. She My... licks her cheek. <laughs> Say is like, ah, fascinating. That felt strange. <laughs> Say's eyes on focus. You, you, hmm. 
this creature, the sensation you get from her, it's, it feels familiar yet not? How do I put this? She feels nostalgic. Oh. I don't really have anything to be nostalgic about, but I think I want to hang out with you. Again, guys, what are we doing here? <laughs> do you want to get like vaulty? <laughs> no, I'm so, under no circumstances. <laughs> we can like you. <laughs> Listen, we were trying to scout out where Compulsion has her real body. Do you want to help us out or not, Basil? Um, do I know where Compulsion's real body is? You do not. Oh. Uh, well, <clears throat> don't you need to go or you're going to get killed or something? Oh, yes. That is what I was doing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can tell me more about strangers or something. I'll, I'll make sure you don't die. Oh, right. For expression Because if you use that swamp defense, you're going to freaking die. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want information on strangers then? Yeah, it's weird. Who makes mm. you? Hmm. Makes. That is a very interesting question. A stranger is not necessarily made. A stranger is granted a chance to live. She holds her hands out to either side. <clears throat> to be slightly less cryptic about it, I am a collection of different consciousnesses and information that have existed in this world for a very, very long time. A stranger is functionally an item or a gateway that uh, that grants power to these thoughts that wish proper incarnation. Think about it like almost passing a hope or a dream forward towards the future. Hold on. <laughs> she watches you. <laughs> she puts her head in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Am I a freaking stranger? <laughs> uh, why would you believe that? That make uh, how old are you? Uh, I, in terms of composition and information, am twenty nine years old, old enough to ground my partner. How many days have you existed? I have existed in this body and incarnation for a little over. I assume it's been uh. A few weeks at this point, she thinks. I think I'm a freaking stranger. <laughs> <laughs> that, all, that all makes perfect sense. Okay. Um, who, uh, who springs you forth into existence to be a partner? <laughs> what, what is that all about? So, functionally, your partner, the person on the other end, puts out a call. They... Send almost a list of qualifications out to the world. And any qualifying points of information respond and resound, calling themselves back. In a core form, it's true demon summoning. She waves her hand around, which is fascinating. If you are a stranger, you are a human stranger? Hmm. So I assume somebody here summoned you, right? Yes. That's that's really interesting. Mm. I was just telling Logic that it's really um, fascinating that you guys have managed to maintain yourselves for so long. Hmm. <laughs> I have only maintained myself here for a very short time. I the mean, others I mean, have I... been at this for quite some time, however. Right. I, I mean, you in the broad sense. Like, Logic's been here for several worlds. Um, his wife, even longer, mm. I think. She nods. So, in order to persist and not lose sight of themselves, they basically order an other. Oh. Something to define themselves against. Are you uh, like the opposite of laughter? I mean, you're pretty funny, so you can't be the opposite of laughter. She sort of smiles. In this case, huh. Is someone that helps define you, define you your opposite or your complement? Your, um... Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's your foil. Your foil. Whatever completes your story. She smiles, actually, and leans back. In this case, I believe I can speak a little more descriptively, then. 
She puts Vault Watcher down on the couch next to her and folds her hands. What called me into existence? I remember different memories of different lifetimes. Basil, this resounds clearly with you. Guys training videos. Different people teaching you different skills. All brought together in a singular point. Not you, yet you. I was a woman who existed once for quite some time. A researcher focused on discovering the ancient secrets of the world that existed before. But also, similarly, I am a collection of different information, that which we, she desired most keenly. I am the memories of an old king who once ordered an entire subsect of people to the moon far above. I also am a deeply resonant collection of memories that are happy to exist in this exact moment. She beams at you. Folding her hands, she twists one thumb above the other. The one who called me, I responded to his call because of the deep and resonant loneliness I sensed there. Hmm. Huh. Well, I, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing to be a stranger then. That sounds like a noble thing to do. Hmm. A stranger responds to the wishes of those summoned. They can be a demon. They can be an angel. Or, I suppose, in your case, they can be profoundly human. It depends on what's desired. What the wish is. <laughs> There's no mistake uh, mistaking it in my case, however. Without a doubt, compared to all of the other uh, strangers here, I am most certainly a demon. She says with a smile on her face. I don't think a demon can't be human. Hmm. She sits and... down. <laughs> now forgetting that they're trying to escape from... Yeah, the no! <laughs> this discussion is quite enlightening. <laughs> she says with a slight smile. Aloha, did you get your milkshake? No. Are it's, you it's... present? Uh, yeah, I'm present, yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I typed back, it's fine, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, she, uh, she, like, sits down, and at this exact point... You hear a thump against the door as... Let me... Just... The door hisses open. Someone travels in, and... Someone behind him. These two move into the room, and they're like, yeah, fucking, there you are, of course. Come on. What the I... fuck is Ace doing here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, too. I, um... Uh, Basil. Basil, say... Uh, sorry to, uh... Uh, hello, nice. Yeah. Uh, he he actually goes goes to like uh, uh, put his hand on Basil's shoulder. Actually, really nice to see you again. By the way, um, wow, well, this is nice. Well, yeah, <laughs> you you've got some problems up on the surface because the new you's an asshole. I mean, I'm an asshole too, but it's fine. Hey, look, <laughs> you get your flame ripped out, you're pissed off about it. That's fine. Look, I, <laughs> but, but right now, uh, I'd rather be a, a, a live asshole than a dead asshole. So. Uh, I thought you were a dead asshole. <laughs> Not dead yet. Um, as delightful as this is, we gotta, we gotta go. Yeah, we need to get out of here. We need to yeah, get to the micro raft right now. Yeah, let's go. Eternity, all this other stuff. I just, Basil, I just assume you're coming with us because uh, I think you'd probably want you dead too, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just come because I like your. I like uh, your <laughs> yep. Golden Knight. Golden Knight actually turns around. No, she's a cleared guest. She's good to stay. Oh, look at that. So says, looking over at you with a smile. <laughs> well, I don't want to be alone. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. I, come on. You start to move over in this direction. I assume they're still talking to uh, the queen. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they should be. We just had a very enlightening discussion. I'm... Hey, Jay. Yeah? yeah. Uh, yeah. what do you smell like? Hmm. She smells like Ace, but not? No, no, that, hmm, 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 does, does, does she smell all the wax? Yeah, yeah, something's different about this guy. Like, come on. Oh god, I've never been to this part of the... It's kind of creepy, but, you know, I yeah, can't really talk since normal. I'm also a suit of, suit of armor, so... Okay. You... Start to move your way down this way. And... One. Something happens. Yep. 
you make it over here as <clears throat> you feel a call move through the building. <clears throat> Golden Knight, laughter. What are you? He pauses, looking across the way. Oh, shit. And then, Basil, you look oh. and you turn back around and. Gone. Gone? They teleported. They disappeared. The man sort of looks back and forth. I... Thanks a lot. Now I lost all my friends. I... Uh... Your, um... Your, compul your compulsion and logics guest? I'm whoever I want to be as guest that I want to be. And right I... now you better be twice as entertaining as that weird little girl. <laughs> I see. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> he rubs his forehead for a second. I was really looking forward to having a deep philosophical conversation with, say, Miss Laney. <laughs> he, like, sort of looks down at you. Do you want me to find logic? Because he's going nuts on that organ. No. Right there. He's loud and he's... obnoxious. Oh, you hate this, too? Yeah, he thinks it's good. Okay. Okay, we could, we'll probably be fine. Okay, it's fine. Come do you, do I need to have some kind of like weird hell ears to think this is good? No. Or is it, uh, am I just not caught up to it yet? No, these two are the only people that can genuinely stand it. Mm. <laughs> he like looks over his shoulder at you. So, you're uh, sure you're following me? Yeah, what do you listen to? <laughs> you're asking me about my taste in music. Um, sure. Uh, not much since my world burned. My name's Vinter, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, did we meet? He, like, looks over at you. It's hard to tell. You guys, I, you, all your suits kind of look alike. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have met multiple times in the past. Was it, was it me, or was it the other me? Or was it the other other me? Hmm. He, like, folds his arms. I believe it was one of the other yous. Your current iteration is not something that I'm particularly familiar with. That was mostly Geist's business. Oh, well, how'd you like the other me's? Hmm. Gee, thanks. Do you want my assessment as an administrator or an individual? Uh, individual? Administrator sounds weird. Were you a robot? Administrator, I have a very particular job. I balance the scales of death, which means you are an anomaly who makes my job more frustrating. But... What does that mean? Oh, um... Hmm. You are consistently reincarnated and logged by our systems, and I need to manually edit your data every single time. It is uh, frustration, sort of. I could see that would be frustrating after how many bajillion years? It's been it's been a few cycles. Uh, he sort of walks, but as an individual, I didn't particularly enjoy your previous iterations. I apologize. I'm probably being very rude right now. No, I agree. They suck. Really? Your yeah. like looks over. So that means we'll probably get along just fine. I'm heading towards eternity. I can't take you to see him. Um, do you want me to get you a drink or something? No, nah, I'm already full on milk. And I actually uh, promised a friend that we were going to drink milk together you're later. We're going to drink so milk get... together later. I yeah. see, of course. <laughs> he continues, like, looking back over his shoulder repeatedly. You can't, yes. you can't get away. I'm faster. I, <laughs> believe it or not, a long, long time ago, my daughter was a little bit like you. Yeah? Which one's your daughter? Mm. Do I know her yet? Her name's Fio. Oh, Argos' girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> he turns on his heel. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to need to tell me all about that. Over here. Damn it. 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 <laughs> oh, oh hey, buddy. Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, you again. Nice. Um, Long time no see. You're not yeah, sitting by yeah. a weird fire going like, hmm. You're the wait. Hold on, hold on. You're you're the guest that they've been talking about. 
No, well, there's two. There's one that's apparently uh, going to kill everybody, and there's me that's not going to kill anybody. Yeah, no, I was about to say, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a problem. Hold on. Come here, come here, come here. Uh, Venter, I'm borrowing your guest. <laughs> I see. Um, Hold on. Uh, are, they're dating now? They they, they typed the, I thought well, they were getting into the... <laughs> Come on, come on, come here, come here. <laughs> okay, okay. So. I'm a short little guy, right? <laughs> yeah, you are a short little guy. I'm a short you... little guy. Yeah. I'm a um, short little girl, so I know. It's yeah, like... no, I, I, you're the only one that can help me here. Big dude like that, he can't fit down there. I, sign, please. <laughs> Here's the uh, issue. You got raccoons in the vents. He got, uh, he got back there. He's in his spot. Oh, sometimes he's my in dog his, crawls yeah, into spaces that. Yeah, he's in his spot right now, and uh, when he's in his spot, I can't get him out. He's basically unbeatable back there. Are you implying that you're, but you're a little guy? I yeah no I can get down there but one v one I'm not beating him. Oh okay. I'm not getting him in this bag and like I gotta get out there soon. You gotta bag your dog. Yeah. <laughs> so like, come on, help me out for old times. For old remember times. Remember the remember the time I sat at the camp campfire and looked at you and was like, uh... you were like. Hmm. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you like made my brain explode. A little bit, yeah. So you owe me. <laughs> okay. Stein, she doesn't. Oh. <laughs> he puts his head to his hand. <clears throat> okay, okay. We're both going to go for him at once. At once, okay? Oh, uh, at once. Okay, let's go. <laughs> he scrambles under the stairs, and you both start to dig around after the pristine one. <laughs> so fucking frantically digging into the fucking trash. His own dog tail starts fucking okay. lashing, fucking everywhere. <laughs> okay, he's, he's got a he's got a box cutter now, so you're gonna want to be careful of that. Uh, I hate when my dog gets a box cutter. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Vendor sits on the stairs. You guys, like, two minutes later, come back with him in a bag. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow. That was tough. Yeah. No, uh, I really owe you. Sorry. I'm headed over to Belleth. Got to get this guy to, like, you know, stir things up. <laughs> oh, I got a phone from Belleth. Seriously. Huh? That's cool. No, Belleth. What are you doing great. there? Uh, you know, I'm instigating a monstrous riot. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I, uh... <laughs> it jumps on the bag. <laughs> uh, I, they've been handling the mission on the far side of the world while I've been handling things in Gravnir. <clears throat> yeah, he sits down on top of the bag. Things are going pretty swimmingly in Belleth. The hunters are putting up a fight, but it's nothing me and the little guy can't handle. You're just both just guys. a heads up. Yeah. I assume things are only going well in Belleth because my friend from Belleth hasn't gotten there yet. Seriously? Your friend, like, super strong or something? She's, like, the strongest. The strongest, really? <laughs> she suplexed the train. Oh, she's... Oh, it's Train Girl. Ben, do you hear that? It's, I'm going to fight Train Girl. <laughs> and she's going to be, like, pissing vinegar because that's, like, her family. <clears throat> There's no guarantee of where Opie is headed next. Our spy only reports that they're headed in Silt Island's direction. Uh, Which one's your spy? <laughs> he, like, looks over. Well, don't. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, you hear that? We're dealing with Train Girl. He, uh, he reaches into his pack and pulls out another knife and puts it in the bag. Get ready. <laughs> Uh, again, they're not heading to Billeth. He rubs his temples. <clears throat> He's like, Well, I've been taking bets that they're gonna come and attack me next. <sighs> but it turns out that they defended Ciela first. Your predictions seem to be always wrong. He well, crosses his arms. If I yeah. had to guess, whoever's got the strongest will is gonna decide where they go next. Because I decided <laughs> we were going to Ciela. <laughs> really, that was you? Yeah. Good plan. He, uh, like, looks over. It wasn't over. really a plan. I just didn't want you guys to break my brother's house. <clears throat> Your brother's house? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I... Um, you guys got, like, weird things like, uh, like, strangers and stuff here, right? Yes. Well, I, I don't know, um... I don't know who brought me forth to this mortal coil. So I kind of just <laughs> figured stuff out myself. 
So, <laughs> I got like a brother. It's not really yeah. my brother because I don't okay, think okay, okay. Okay. Womb, but yeah. Uh, understandable. Like, okay. If people are getting on your ass about like who called you into this mortal coil and all that philosophical stuff, don't even worry about it. Existence is existence, man. We're all just fighting to survive. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> he folds his arms. Like, don't sweat stuff like, oh, whose womb did I share? Why would why would you phrase it like that? Don't worry about small stuff like that. Yeah, brothers are brothers. My mother is kind of off right now. Really? Yeah, she's kind of. I don't know. We're uh, we're friends, but like, she's kind of like a friend now. So. Ah, uh, same actually. Like my relationship with my mother's freaking awful. I that is completely understandable. Your mother is a supercomputer. He points with one finger. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> he like leans back, tapping his feet repeatedly. <laughs> mm. Our dear friend Stein here is... I'm from, like, a long, long while back. I'm custom designed to do my job to the best of my abilities. You want the perfect... You want the perfect hunter? You're looking at him. So, Swamp Girl, better be ready. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool that, like, when they decided to make you a perfect hunter, they made you a little guy. <laughs> that's because little guys have ha, all the advantages. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. You could hide in little things. I was custom engineered, basically, like, biologically grown to be the absolute best at this. So... Well, still gonna lose, so sorry. <laughs> Listen, if somebody cooked up something better, that's just evolution, baby. <laughs> yeah, wh whoever Willow's parents are. <laughs> Master scientists. <laughs> Venter folds his arms. I look forward to hearing the results of your operation. Yeah, how about yours? You haven't any luck with that gigantic pyramid? The citizens of Gravnir have proven to be compliant and very kind and forthcoming. I'll be headed back up there soon, but if I'm going to achieve proper incarnation on the surface... Whoa! Hey, Gas, do you hear that? Pointing his knife over at, uh, uh, Venter. He wants to properly incarnate. You didn't even want to do that last world. You haven't wanted to do that in forever. Why the change of heart? It's been a while since I've had worthy challengers. Uh, uh, yes, our, our spy actually told me that. What was his name again? <laughs> his head turns over. He, you feel him smiling at you. He's like, mm, yes, our uh, spy is going to, Venter's going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks to himself, mm, our spy. You know what? He's mean for a second. Yes, our spy, Argos. <laughs> Yeah, right. If you were a spy, you wouldn't be dating your daughter. <laughs> How do you think we won him over? Hmm. <laughs> hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. Let him go. Good point. <laughs> Venter gets a very mean smile. Yeah, I haven't seen you like this in forever. Okay. Hey, guest. Yeah. You got any correspondence for the surface? Um, like, like what? Like somebody I can call? Do you want me to send a letter or something? Oh, um, just, uh, take a picture when Willow kicks your ass. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I'm a good sportsman, sure. <laughs> I, think, I mean, I think I know you by now. You'll appreciate it. She's, yeah. She's, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. I it'll be cool. Ah! <laughs> Cross starts scrambling down the vents again. Do you guys get the invasions on like a TV or something? Uh, we do, yes, actually. Oh, okay, cool. I want to watch um, that. Oh, you'd like to join us? Yeah. Oh, uh, I can set that aside. Of course, it's going to be, um... It seems like Eternity is going to be visiting for a little while. You, you can... Keep you're... saying Eternity, like, uh, like, is that the concept of forever? Uh, to some extent, as a person, yes. He, he's a person just walking around? Hmm. 
Uh, you're welcome to actually stay in the court of death in the intervening time. It's where we're, um, I believe the term is live streaming it. You, you just, you just said that the concept of forever, like yes. I was just talking to logic yes. about how you guys are trying to stay separate from the concept of forever. And I think mm. I might've actually been spitting. <laughs> he turns around. It's actually very big of you to admit something like that. Most people who wax philosophical just act like everything is as they intended. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just stumbling. You know what? I actually think I like you. <laughs> Thanks. You're all right, big guy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's go live stream. Um, thank you for, uh getting me out of meeting with eternity <laughs> you're welcome did you say live stream because that's what your spy does mm. <laughs> oh well huh. i guess the cat is out of the bag now <laughs> he slowly shakes his head smiling <laughs> basil He's fucking with you. Yeah. Probably. I'm, I'm playing along. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> he was a notoriously bad date. I wouldn't know why anybody would date him otherwise. I'm going to put us to BRB. Aloha's getting his food. Um, this works as a good uh, point to stop, get water, etc. Let's uh, let's swap over here, and the training will continue. That was great. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Let Vinter cook the spy of Argos. Vinter, like, <laughs> you know what? She's created enough hell in my house. Perhaps I will create some in his. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad you got to I'm glad you got to see Stein before he uh deployed to uh before in the boys path. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he's they've gotta keep him alive if they're gonna teleport down, so he'll, he'll be he'll... really bummed out. Yeah. <laughs> Are we on break? He's Oh, uh, we're on break, yes. Okay, I'm gonna use that from real quick, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> chat, chat, you having a fun time? You having a fun time? You having a good time? You having you a having chuckle? You having a bumble through the derelict? You having a bumble through the fucking derelict? Pristine one is perfect, you cannot change my mind, yes. <laughs> That's propaganda, that's Alora. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <not> real opinion. <laughs> All of chat is saying it. 100% pristine <laughs> one sweep? That's crazy. <laughs> I like how Basil is just walking around getting all the deep lore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, awesome. oh, I don't care. <laughs> say like, I am going to say some very weird things <laughs> to you right now. Basil like, oh no, go off. Go <laughs> off. Cool. My mother was a supercomputer that designed My me mother was a supercomputer that designed me to hunt. I'm like... What the fuck, Stein? You're just All dropping right. that? Yes! <laughs> I've decided my lore time is now. Today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Stein just bust that one out. Stein is the world's worst information hazard. He will kill you. He'll just be like, burn doesn't exist. Fuck you, die. <laughs> Stein 100% would have ratted out the traitor if Inter wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah, he actually would have. <laughs> okay, I've got to prep shit. Oh, I know what I know what comes next. <coughs> to the garden. I am back. Sorry about that. Welcome back. You take over. I need to use the bathroom. Hello, chat. 
I'm here with my vanilla milkshake that I ordered because everyone kept <laughs> talking about milk. <sighs> it's not grimace though. Disappointing. Mm hmm. Uh, how's everyone enjoying the session? Uh, you enjoying your time, Jackson? Yes. You enjoying that people are stitching? Being thrown under the bus. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, you? What the heck, Basil? Come on, Basil. At you least you didn't me mention the disrobement. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, this is the noises of me. I also ordered some food. No, it's starving. Some, uh, some chicken strips. And cheese curds. Yeah. What, you don't like cheese curds? What are you? Uh, 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 a guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who lives in, like, I don't know. Wisconsin? The Midwest? I live in Tennessee. <laughs> oh. It's, like, kind of the Midwest. Eh. It's almost there. Not exactly. Yeah, close enough for cheese curds, I guess. It's from Dairy Queen, dude. You know the the queen? <laughs> the Dairy Queen of Flame? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why the crap does your Dairy Queen have cheese curds? Uh, because it's, it's dairy. The, the closer you are to Texas, the better Dairy Queen is. Mm. They have more food. Oh, I see. That's their or kingdom of origin, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm hmm. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Okay, let me set up a map. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Tennessee, you're the only ten I see. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle pickup line. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Mississippi, you're the only miss who's pissed I want to sip me. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody! <laughs> I, I like how Jackson keeps, like, all the cursed thoughts in his head to DMs, except for that one gets to the fucking How did that get out? Because I didn't want to type <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna do the strategy scene. Willow, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Um I wanna I wanna describe what's been <laughs> what's been happening over the course of the day. Um every time uh actually no no no. I I, I can catch up. We we're montaging right now. Hold on. So <clears throat> <clears throat> The day of training continues late into the night. <clears throat> and the moment Willow's training finishes, the next round begins. <clears throat> Your group is working incessantly on improving not only your teamwork, your coordination, etc. This game, we're not going to play out in its 100%, but it is worth discussing. All oh, right, Ace uh, got erased. Hold on. Hold on. Based Ace got erased. Uh, I'm going to put, I put Ace next to Treble. Ace, every time you're around Treble, your emotions change very distinctly, and it feels like two people are having a, a conversation. Like, it's she's sending away vibes. Uh, Treble's got this expression on. It feels like something inside of you is mirroring it. <laughs> your time. Uh, you they felt strange all day. They are communicating. Um, and time passes, and you make it to Breaches training. Breach, like, puts up her hands. She's like, okay, we're going to play a, um, we're going to play an old Gravnir game called Knife. <laughs> what? <laughs> she, she reaches down and <clears throat> pulls out a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and then she pulls out another knife and another knife and another knife and another knife. She's like, everybody take one. 
Trouble takes one. Okay. Okay. I don't want to play a game called Knife. What is Seekers. Seekers are seems uninterested in the knife. <laughs> no, don't worry. It gets more interesting later. <laughs> okay. So, the rules of this game are simple. In one hour, I need you to have somebody else's knife. That's it. Uh, that that's it? Mm-hmm. It's a very straightforward game. It's a moment away. Weakness detected! I detected the weakness. I smell the weakness. <laughs> Willow takes off. Uh, Riddle's like, uh, Mike. Huh, huh. <laughs> takes off in that direction. <laughs> Cast, oh, this is gonna be really fun. It, we just need somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Cast runs that way. Uh, Wait, um... do we lose if we have mm -hmm. our own knife taken? No. Do you want to trade? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ace, like, pointing between the two of you. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm not defeating this. I mean, I guess it's a teamwork exercise, so yeah, sure. You, <laughs> Ace, you remember playing this game as a, um, you remember playing this game as a kid because the default impulse is it'll throw everything into chaos if even one person acts selfishly. This is Gravnir as a concept. If everyone simply trades their knife to the left, there is no issue. But, and you hear a crash in the distance, if there's a problem, <laughs> there's gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> An hour passes. Knife resolves. <laughs> the, the following segment of training for the night was Twice's. She played a game uh, also very descriptively named Ambush. There's a gimmick. I want you to pick a partner. And then I'm going to ambush you. <laughs> well... This descriptive game of ambush plays out. <laughs> a few people excuse themselves from the proceedings in order to plan strategy. Oh, man. <clears throat> Let me grab a trobo. 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 <laughs> like that scene because I was just sitting there with trouble like I'm just going to let the chaos unfold and if <laughs> anyone is standing here at the end I'm going to trade knives with them <laughs> <laughs> she was just set to let everyone just run and disperse and she was going to wait until it was just her and one other person and then she was going to go hey you want to trade <laughs> hey, <wanna> trade <laughs> <clears throat> so again Let's go over our facts related to the derelict. Um, in terms of, uh, we're depriving them of one pyromancer. So we don't, we don't need to do pyromancer preparation training yet. Riddle puts up a finger. No, we do. They're still okay. facing down a pyromancer. To start now, yeah. I hate, that's such an issue. Uh, Riddle pulls down her sunglasses that she's been wearing all day. Um, just, if most people even see a pyromancer, their burn skyrockets so high that they collapse. Mm. What if we add some sort of perception filter in place? Like, we can give everyone some sort of contact lens that blurs them out and replaces them with something more friendly. Uh, that would be bad for combat. It, yeah, that, hmm. Uh, Argos, can... you, you deal with censorship shit on stream all the time. What do you do? Uh, we have a pretty complex algorithm supplemented by Mike searching out and censoring those second. things in near real time. You're... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back, 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 smarty pants, go back. <laughs> okay. She's leaning in. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you said complex algorithm uh, supplemented by Mike, correct? Yes. Looks over at Treble. Mike is... Mike's tier three, right? Yes. Mike theoretically won't get burned from encountering the pyromancers, right? Theoretically. 
Could Mike functionally, could we run it through Mike's filter? I suppose so. Would that work? Would that work? Would that work? She's waiting for a reward. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're asking me, but you seem confident. <laughs> run one through Mike's filter. Like, if we see a pyromancer, replace him, reskin him over to something, I don't know, from your game library or something. <laughs> I, that feels like a to do for multiple people in real time. Wouldn't that seems like a lot. You'll have to, to ask do, her. Wouldn't the best thing to do actually probably be kind of what happened to Argos? Oh. Like, Argos, if you connect Mike and Willow, when Willow sees Stein, Mike's connection and the fact that Mike is tier three will overwrite Willow's oh. burn. Mm. Oh, whoa! Riddle's expression lights up and. Like on the fucking counter, Riddle, really? <laughs> she lays herself sideways. She's like, wait a second. We can actually extrapolate this outwards, right? We can use this for more things than just this. Theoretically. This, theoretically, this is a safe way to research, right? Yes. I have gotten some knowledge that would otherwise have caused burn when I was in Theo's body. So it's a proven proven case. It's, it's a proven method. A, by, a bypass. Why is that? Because burn is degradation of the cage and Riddle is kicking her legs up on the table. I'm so sorry about her, Cal. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she does this all the time. <laughs> So, okay, burn is degradation of the cage. Then the information check has to be, it has to be in the physical body, right? It's not flame based. If the flame is, if the flame is what's being exchanged, the body oh, you is- You know what might be fun? Is the filter? You know what might be fun? What if we what's put that? someone in a different body and then had them re-engage with things that had caused them burn previously to see if they get burn again? Oh, okay, 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 Argus, hit me, hit me. Um, I'm- Really, really, you sign yourself up as. <laughs> it won't work on you, Riddle. You reset every day. Oh. I was, gonna, I was gonna say that's not really a. Why do I feel like I'm about to be volunteered for something? <laughs> All right, get our ghost. Mm hmm Do you want to get a new body? Do I want to get a new body? Test this with. What just do you mean fun, by that? Just a fun little <laughs> test. Like, we could just tell, we could just put you in a different one. We could just put you in a different one, you know. We have been working on the backup Argoses. We have them. We do have them. You do have them? In a big old closet. Wait, wait. Yeah, what? But if, then I'd be switching with nothing. Potentially. <laughs> which is well, no, what, what, what I'm test. saying is... Oh, and we we'd test... You'd tell we me. Put you, we put you body. in a new, fresh, clean body, and then I yeah. tell you something that would induce burn that you didn't have when we got those scans from you. Exactly. Right. To see if it inflicts burn again. Okay, It'd that be makes a sense. Yeah. Guys, I'm so sorry. Strategy. Right, right, oh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Riddle like leans down and is like my eyes, your eyes over to treble. Like, no, this is good. This is good. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is useful, but distracting. <laughs> the door slides open. Willow, you just overcame ambush. Guys, <laughs> guys. Guys, Willow trips <laughs> and falls over the wall. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Willow, whoa. Did I just get stairs installed on that thing? <laughs> the stairs would reduce the challenge. <laughs> it's like the God of Humanity says about adversity. <laughs> she leans back on the counter. Right, right. Uh, what's up, Willow? Did did, did ambush go well? <laughs> yeah, twice threw me through a wall and I got the, the greatest idea. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle's like, oh. Another normal sentence. I, that uh, might be a concussion, dear. <laughs> no, no, it's an idea, not a concussion. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what it Cal is gets first. The first. Cal gets the first aid kit. Uh, uh, can I can I get your credit card, Willow, just really quick? <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you want to see it? <laughs> just uh, you know, I I just um just to make sure. <laughs> oh 
Well, now, why don't you come over here to me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you, you guys are missing the point. The, th the point is, ignore the bleeding. I have an idea. <laughs> 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 Riddle's like, I do I do love ideas. Kel right. hands you a towel. So as I was soaring through the air, I saw I saw Mike. Mm. And I just realized we we made those bodies, right? Yes, she did. Knows. Yeah, can't we just we're we're going in to get people and when we get people, it's gonna make the, the you know the bad guys mad because they're trying to yeah. you know do their execution. Why don't we just replace them with fake bodies <laughs> all sneak like so they can get their execution but it's not on the guys they think it is <laughs> Broda spits out her drink Riddle's like slowly turns there's like a blink, blink blink <laughs> blink blink from trouble and then like this <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, yeah, no. <laughs> hold on, okay. Huh. Okay. That's a okay. pretty good concussion. <laughs> <laughs> so, for unrelated reasons, we, we, we've we got a complete read of, um, we've got a complete read of Cult. And we definitely have a complete read of Seder. Seder. <laughs> And that's, and then we have the Theo simulacrum. We do have the. That was right? She smiles. Uh, and Danger's back already. We. Holy shit! Yeah, this is doable. Uh, we need Helena though. Oh. <sighs> right. Uh, we do have some stuff on Helena, but much less than Colton Sater. We had to get Colton Sater's info from when we were treating them. Uh, we could, uh, hmm. Does it have to be accurate? We could it's... use Helena's last LS readings. We um. can use, hold on, we can use Helena's LS readings. We can actually, uh, data shared amongst her squad. We can, um, uh, let's, let's get in touch with Liam and Pixie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hold up a sec. Sorry, I'm, this is, I'm just directly asking for confidential information now because <laughs> we're well past that point. Uh, <laughs> Did the danger report say that Helena wasn't in the cell with them? Riddle folds her legs. Yeah, huh, good point. Hmm. So she we might don't be... know where she is. Yeah, we should definitely make a body for her anyway. Yeah. Mm. It, here's the thing. If we at least make a body for her and take it down there, there's a chance. So think of it this way, right? Oh, if no, they, absolutely go make one for spare. I'm just saying. If they do I'm kill gonna, her... Riddle, right? Riddle looks... <laughs> she like lowers her they, sunglasses. <laughs> if they do kill her, if there's a second body down there, her flame will have two choices. Go into the body, or go into the flame that they have down there. Oh. Uh, so it's instead of her just immediately get, <laughs> getting sucked into the throne that's down <laughs> there she has another option it's still up in the air which one would happen oh my god yeah like theoretically if anyone dies down there and we have a spare body and i manage to just scoop up their flame we can slap them into their brand new robo body hmm. well that sounds like that's we should yeah, we uh, should avoid we should yes guys 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 well, excuse like me doing, no, hey, man, it sounds like if we're doing willow's yeah. plan yeah we're doing a stealth operation anyway Exactly. So we could probably go down there and create some kind of base hmm. where we can store all the robot bodies. Exactly. We bring down a bunch of spares and like, let's say our plan goes totally terrible and they get executed. Our We got the spare bodies for them right there. Okay, yeah. Let's, that, we're that's not, good to have as a that's backup. That's a good backup, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's just a backup. Like we would just a backup. Willow's plan is good. Like if we Willow's just, plan. Okay, so we're going problem. Okay, we're going. So we're going yeah. with Willow's first. Yeah. Okay, but we're really gonna have to sell it. Yeah. Which definitely. is going to be hard because they're just empty bodies. Right. Well, actually, I don't know if anybody the, goes to their execution. You know. Come with come with well, here's the thing, Argos. It would actually be less hard than you think, wouldn't it? She says, looking at you. You ah. have the ability to explicitly 
do something about this. <laughs> you literally okay. have Fate Weaver. Look at you. Look at you, <laughs> Mr. Gonna Get Executed. <laughs> so as long as they execute them one at a time, <laughs> I can just <laughs> pretend to get killed. Over no races a hand again. I have a less fun solution that doesn't involve possible death multiple mm -hmm. times. What's that? Can't you just remote control them or stick bots in them? Uh, Nothing sapient, just something that goes move arm leg. Mm. Uh, it'd be. It would involve less of Argos facing the terrors. For sure. But we have a higher chance of getting caught. Exactly. So, really, it's just. What are we more willing to do? Let Argos face the terrors or um, hey. uh, risk the plan oh. just a little bit more? Hey, <laughs> I don't mind the terrors at all. Are you kidding? I die yeah, I all the time in games. And <laughs> it can be pretty traumatic. Here's the thing, though. You can only swap with one of them, but can you set up strings to connect, for example, like if you swapped with Colt and I swapped with Seder? Hmm. Riddle like looks over. Can we do two at once, or can you only do one at a time? She uh she actually hops down and pats him on the shoulder. That's what we were working on. Yeah. That's what you're Wait, training. You... Mm. Oh, so you're working to swap people who aren't you? Yeah. Um. That's literally. Yeah. That's that was, I was the just next gonna thing. say. I was just gonna say if you can swap people who aren't you, I mean, why introduce anyone else into it? Just have them swap from themselves to themselves. We're <laughs> bringing down extra bodies. It's gonna take some extra doing. Um, Fate we're growing fast, and Argos is an amazingly talented Esper and warrior, but there are limits. Oh. We're doing our best right now. Nope, that Actually, makes sense. I have another idea. So hmm. we can we can probably do something about Colt and Seder. Like even if we just leave empty husks <laughs> down there, it probably won't be the end of the world. Like. At the worst, it would be is a bait and switch of they don't realize that they're gone until we get down there, which is like, until they go there, so either way it's fine. The real issue will be Theo, but Argos is already connected to Theo, so maybe right. what Argos should be doing is learning to connect to two people at once. Right. Like, if you could make, if you could connect Theo to her simulacrum, or a new simulacrum you make for her, and then you are connected to the field that's down there, creating a three-person circuit so that you are in Fio's body right up until the execution, and then you swap back into your body and she swaps into the simulacrum. Like, that's something we were theorizing before, but we figured we would need to level Fate Weaver up, right? Uh, I just had another thought. Sorry, it's mm. gonna be another one of those comments. Mm. Isn't the, uh... Isn't the, you know, the leader, the queen of flame... Can't she tell when it's not them? Hmm. She can, but I don't think she would want Theo to die. Hmm. Riddle like, Riddle's like, yeah, that's a pretty good point. You got that meeting with her tomorrow, right? Looking over at Argos. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I guess actually that was. I was thinking about ne things we can negotiate about mm -hmm. or, you know, forcefully negotiate. What do you mean forcefully negotiate? Just being able to have cards that we can play. So are you that about threatening them? That's what forcible negotiation typically means. Oh, that would end well with a bunch of hostages. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm out of sorts today. <laughs> it's more of a bluff. But What's the bluff? We, it would be to make sure that if we... The queen wouldn't want Theo dying. Mm. I don't know how she feels about the rest of them. Hmm. If we have something we can play, something to use against her, then we can demand that if 
Theo is saved, the rest of the hostages are saved. What is your? What are you planning to use to bluff her? <sighs> That's the hard part. We don't really have much on her. I do know a few things that would make probably make things difficult if like what well, uh, I'm afraid I can't say them why at least not right now why treble is kind of grilling you right now yeah <laughs> yeah she's kind of like what the fuck did you mean by that because <laughs> the, because people have entrusted me with this knowledge, these secrets. And I don't want to betray that trust. And also it's uh it's sensitive information that it it wouldn't feel right revealing it. Hmm. Here's the thing, Argos, if you're gonna play with fire, I would, would like to know what kind of fire you're playing with. Otherwise I would say no, I'm... don't do this plan under any circumstances. I'm not playing with fire, I'm bluffing with fire. If you're playing with fire, Argos, this is incredibly dangerous. I think maybe if you can't communicate to us this information, you shouldn't use it. Mm. Trouble is, like, acting weird. She's like, mm. you said that and she was like, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this plan. Hey, Trouble, you doing alright? Mm. It depends. I understand how it sounds, but we really... Going in there with no way to guarantee that the queen will let this slide feels too risky to me. So why don't, I we, want... why don't we... Oh, sorry, you, you continue. No, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, why don't we just ask that... Um... Ask the queen, just say, hey, uh, we're, we're planning to save Theo and everyone. Uh, if you work with us, we could save Theo and everyone. <laughs> and I think she'd probably say yes, because she'd want to save Theo. Yeah. But what if she says no? Or what if she says only Theo? Well, hmm. she doesn't know how we're going to save him. So, you know, <laughs> we have a leg up on that. Yeah, She'll probably can... just agree with us. We could just say we're gonna we're gonna save Theo from the executions and not bring up that we're going to save the others. That's probably better than <laughs> loving know. the Queen of Flames. I mean, let's be real; they know we're gonna make a move at some point, regardless. Yeah. I think you they, need and to. And even if you don't say it, to, uh, even if you don't say it, they know we're gonna go for our guys and probably Theo at this point. Definitely. So. Here's the thing: I think that you are punching at something that you can you are you are throwing hits when you can't take them here with the bluffing with the queen i that is very concerning to me you think it, it would backfire i think it would backfire <laughs> you someone emerges from behind the wall <clears throat> it's like a, hey we going with the plan where we strap a bunch of explosives to the bottom of the derelict and then looks at the room I'm misreading the tone right now. <laughs> he backs off a little bit. I don't know. That could work. <laughs> he backs off. He's like, well, and then sort of like sits in the chair, like looking at everybody in here. So you guys are planning more strategy, right? Apparently. What else is the bar for? <laughs> well, here's the big thing. He, uh, he puts up his, uh, two fingers. Right now, we are at a very important phase of the operation. He kicks his feet up on the table. I'm so sorry, Cal. Information gathering. <laughs> the most important thing we can do right now at this exact moment is figure out the conditions of the battlefield. His... Uh, his, uh, mask lights up red for a split second. <clears throat> right now, I understand if our goal is to go in and potentially make a move, but we're not even on that phase yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The voice Are you showing leadership qualities right now? I'm not a leader. 
you're directing us. <clears throat> I am not the directing anyone. That's what the director does. <laughs> yeah, that <is> very <laughs> unnerving. <clears throat> Riddle, Riddle, like, sort of stops and thinks. She's like, hmm. Okay. How about this? At the very least, we should be preparing simulacrums for Willow's iteration of the plan. Do we agree on that front? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Then... I need to practice with the Fate Weaver. Mm. She but... nods. Oh. The Theo aspect of the plan is still a large unknown. She puts her hands on your shoulder, Argos. We need to figure something out. But I feel like we can't do that without hearing from Theo herself. Right. Well. So, I also mm. want one more thing. She looks at you dead in the eyes. Before you make any decisions, we need to master that ability so you can talk to her. I, is that even... We don't even know if that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> she sort of relaxes. If Might you want to practice Fate Weaver so that you can master that ability, I can offer assistance. It would be more of the sync training we were doing earlier. Yeah, that that would help. Oh boy, I don't like it. I don't like plan that relies on me just learning a new skill in just a few days. But you've got three days. Plus, if you don't sleep, it won't be an issue, right? If it helps, wow, I, wrong I, take. I, <laughs> if it helps, I taught this skill to Decca in about that amount of time, and you're much brighter than he is. <laughs> 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 Plus, worry, no, yeah. Argos, no pressure. No pressure. Just your friends are gonna get executed in three days if you don't learn the skill. Okay. Oh, okay. And, okay. If, Thanks, and if if we can't find a solution, <laughs> we'll need to figure out something else. Right. <laughs> now, you I know what? Even what? if we can't All figure out the <laughs> here's the thing. Even if we can't figure out the solution for Argos possessing the bodies, right? Mm. Even if we can't figure that out. We can still just do a swap. Like, even if they walk in there yeah. and find the, the the bodies are empty, that's still better than our friends being in there. Like, the stealth yeah. plan, the stealth stealth and replace plan isn't bad. The stealth and uh, replace... Was... Yeah. You know they're gonna find out that everyone's alive once they like, show up alive on the surface. Like, we don't... Yeah, this doesn't fine. have to be a long... Well, then they'd have to... Yeah. They'd have what to if, kidnap them again. Long... Yeah, it Listen. just has to last long enough for, for us to get everybody out, right? Yeah, Cal, yeah. once you escape the cops once, they can't do anything about it. That's the rules. Um, <laughs> you have to have your face covered. You have to make sure that you've got one of those reflective screens that mm. confuses security cameras. <laughs> Riddle's so. nodding repeatedly. She's like, okay. So, uh, the immediate course of action is... <laughs> We're training with you. You're doing Fate Weaver, so no sleeping tonight. Again, wrong take. <laughs> no, that's okay. But at the right Endurance time. time. <laughs> okay, we're you going to my room. On the important mission where everyone could die or not? Grabs Argos's arm. Yeah. We're going to my room. Grabs Treble's arm. Moves over to Willow. Tries to grab Willow with the remaining limb. Trouble reaches Willow over. pretends to be Willow. grabbed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. Hey, one sec, one sec. He's gonna, like, put an arm on Argos and prevent him from being dragged by the lack of anything from Riddle. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. I know with all the pressure is on, but listen, if you can't do it, it's not because you didn't try. You're someone who I know is going to be able to do this if it's possible. So if you don't, it wasn't. So give yourself some slack, all right? Damn, Cal. You're a good guy. <laughs> I do my best. You're going to feel silly when I complete this and... One day flat. <laughs> nah, I'll feel validated. <laughs> okay. You guys are go over here. Time passes and you continue training. I've set up two different uh characters here. I want you to place your character based on 
day of hard work. What do you think you got from this? On the left, you gained strength. You gained ability. This will grant you a flat experience up. On the right, you gained insight. You got a little more clever. This will give you a reroll for the upcoming operation. Categorize yourself. <laughs> you guys the from the ace. We're that guy. It's all right. It's all right. We don't need the reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle, Riddle's gesturing at herself <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. You're going for it. You're going for the reroll. Uh, the flexing arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you will gain insight in this case. And time passes. It's late, late, late at night. And Argos, you managed to detach yourself from the claws long enough to work your way down through the various floors. You've got someone to see tonight. Can you make it? To the third floor, and it hisses open. It's like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. You look around. This isn't the right floor. Sorry, did you say this is or isn't? This isn't the right floor at all. The elevator seems locked. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I peek around and just. <laughs> She's sense waiting of there. Presence. <laughs> She's waiting there with her arms folded in the middle of the VR floor. Hello, <laughs> Argus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Freak. <laughs> I, I was just uh, going to get my. You were going to get your. Food. Your food. I ordered food to be delivered yeah oh oh right um yeah let me uh check in with the front desk no you don't well, have to worry about it that's crazy argos <laughs> that's absolutely nuts uh nope doesn't seem like they got food for you that is uh crazy you know what else is crazy what's that your discretion <laughs> You're trying this with me right now. I'm appealing to you as as your co-worker. Uh, yeah, someone else actually tried that already. How did it go? Points over at Riddle in the corner who has a sign around her what? neck. <laughs> I, I, how did you beat me down here? <laughs> Trouble teleported downstairs and I wanted to follow. Yeah. <laughs> Argos, I get lonely. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Breach looks over at you. <laughs> well, can I... Can I go? She like She's like, who are you going to see? going to see Mike. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. What? <laughs> Riddle! Riddle sits up straight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> when huh. I said I was going to see Treble, you you will remain right there. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks for she, being uh, reasonable. She, she's making like, this weird. She's like, yeah, I think it's fine. I, I'm here to protect against... The orders I've been given are to protect against impropriety. You guys were training all day. Plus, I think she could probably use a pep talk. Yeah, that's it. Go for it. Freak, you're the best. <laughs> she nods. <laughs> she nods as if like, I know. <laughs> Thanks for not being a shipper. <laughs> <laughs> she looks down and you... <laughs> You open the uh, you open the elevator controls and write it down on a slightly higher floor. <clears throat> Willow, you make your way downstairs after hold on. After finishing up, 
single-ended savior training. Lethargos. <clears throat> you can sense the presence of someone already in your room. Lo rubs her head absently. Why does my head hurt so much? <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Wow, you weren't you didn't you didn't get sent to the hospital? Seriously? Whoa. Okay, cool. I mean, we're I mean, in a hospital. Oh, yeah, technically, I guess yeah, you're 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 correct. Yo, um I just wanted to say uh tomorrow we're um <clears throat> or not tomorrow, uh later this week uh we're heading to the Silt Islands, right? Yeah, you're Going off to the mission. Yeah. I mean, right. Okay. So I'm really glad you leaked that top secret information to me because there's one day before we split apart. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, um, we can, uh, we can maybe go, like, see my hometown together if you have the time. One day. Mm. Yeah, I got time. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay. Cool. Just wanted to. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Definitely overthought that a little bit. She like leans back in her chair and she's like, "What, what do you <sighs> expect to happen?" Uh, I, I don't know. I expected it to go like, "We can go see my hometown," and then you were gonna look at me and go, "Uh, uh my dear Melly, you, I, I've got to consider the mission primarily." And then like, I'd be like, "Oh no!" And she makes large sparkling shoujo <laughs> eyes at you. <laughs> I will wait for you, perhaps after the mission, but then, then. We'd be like tragically separated or something. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit! Really? Yeah, no. Um, I'm I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> yeah, I. It, if I don't do it now, I feel like we're never gonna have time to do it. Yeah. 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 Um. <clears throat> uh. She. She like throws an arm around you and she's like, <laughs> uh, glad it's not just me actually. Um. Uh, let's training sun for tonight, right? We can just we can just enjoy each other's company. Yeah, and if training ain't done, I ain't going back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you feel Melly's relief sort of spread over you, and because of the situation on this floor, Riddle doesn't interrupt you for the first time in days <laughs> while she screams from her fucking cell. <laughs> Argos, you work your way to the bottom floor. As... <laughs> you go to see Mike. Hold on. Put you down here. You here. You're still up. And Mike is in her room. So I'll just... Uh, while I'm trading shit around, GM stuff. <clears throat> you exit the elevator and see two people talking. <clears throat> or is like, or is sort of standing by like, yo, uh, so like, uh, gonna see the family and everything. You're you're heading up the Silt team, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, I cool. Like you can visit your family again. That'd be great. Like, my house isn't going to be pulverized or anything, right? Uh, do my best to keep that from happening to it, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what are our odds for winning are, like, pretty good this time, right? I mean, it, me, you, and Riddle will be there. Y yeah, okay. Or okay. I think Riddle might not be, but it'll be me and you, so we should Okay. Be okay. Um, it's just, uh, you know, like, the Cialis stuff got me thinking, like, seeing Riddle's homeland on fire kind of scary. Yeah... Trouble gets like a little bit of an expression that's let me see. There's like it's like this, but for like a second. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I think it'll be alright. Cool. Yeah, um, I'll be counting on you then. Oh, of course. I'll uh, I'll tell them to get ready to host us. Um huh. They were plenty amicable last time I went to visit. Yeah, they fucking do that. <laughs> He's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll tell them that you're coming over. If they ask any annoying questions, uh, they didn't, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you want, should I bring a gift? 
Uh, you guess as you walk by. Get get, get me one. <laughs> so I'm cocking an eyebrow. I mean, I've been very family, but I've been very good lately. I think I deserve one. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Uh huh. <laughs> he moves in and starts to loudly discuss the trouble. Argos, you keep walking past. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and is that Aura? I haven't seen him in forever. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> you move your way over. Uh, knock, 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 knock a Rooney. Yeah, Mike is just staring at the ceiling. Uh, hey, come in. Hey, number one at Opia. I thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> she like lightly smiles. It's fascinating. I managed to hold on to the position. Um, everyone says it to me with the energy of like, "There you go, sport ch ch champ number one." Oh, is that what I just sounded like? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> she smiles and actually giggles a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> oh well, we're all just so proud of you, Buckaroo. Yeah. Buck, buck, whoa, <laughs> Buckaroo. That's what does that even mean? <laughs> she like pats the bed next to her. So, so how um, you feeling? Uh, better now that I can like come along and help. Yeah. Mm. She like sort of kicks her legs. Yeah, definitely better after the thing in the tower the other night, actually. You've been, uh... You... Have you been doing okay recently? I mean... I know there's a lot of... stuff going on that makes it... E she, you ask her, have you been doing all right recently? And you know, after syncing with her earlier, what this stat means, the green one is the, she's just going to be honest with you, uh, stat. And she goes, I mean, no, <laughs> like, like, no, N no, honestly, um, it's like, um, like you said, with all the st stuff that's going on, right? Yeah. It's just, uh, so much that I find it difficult to say yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, that's perfectly understandable. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but even without all that, uh, I don't know, It's I've just gotten a feeling from you that maybe things are a little much. That right? She. Oh boy. <laughs> she puts herself in the beanbag and picks up her penguin plush and places it on her chest. It's like, um. Yeah. Um. She, uh, sort of like closes her eyes and sort of like starts to like rock lightly back and forth. Uh. Okay. Okay, I have a weird I have a weird question. Uh yeah. what sort of answer do you, do you want from me? She doesn't make eye contact. Uh I guess I want you to share how you're honestly doing with me. Um, it's okay if you don't want to, I know, and, like, that could be too personal, but she, uh, uh, we had that talk and about how, I don't know, we're, we're so connected and just today we're so in sync that how, I don't know, I want us to be able to share these things. She stares at the ceiling. Okay. Okay, yeah. Being honest. Being honest. Being honest. Being honest. <laughs> She's like tapping her feet on the ground. <sighs> um. So like a lot's been going on, but it's actually been kind of kind of nice in its own way. I've stayed kind of distracted. Um. 
e even though it's obviously the horrors and the end of the world and all the weight and pressure and like <laughs> what Theo gave me and then Basil running off and then uh, danger getting kidnapped and then danger coming back and then Basil being responsible for that. My c thinking about cutting myself off from the network, everything that's happening around me, all the... She stops. It's like, yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, um, <laughs> I want to do my, I want to do my best for the people here. That's, that's it primarily, but finding out how exactly is hard. It's really, really hard. So, like, the main thing I do is just try to roll with the punches really well, but, um, it's kind of hard in itself. Hmm. You've been doing an amazing job, but I understand how hard that can be. It's, and so, it's 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 not too, too too hard or anything, I guess. Um, she scrunches up. I think I've been doing an okay job. Um, I just um, how do I? She. <laughs> I fixate on you and she focuses. I want to stop, uh... I want to stop doing whatever I'm doing, I guess. And I want to... Inspire and help others. She laid the shells off! What? You think wanna... you're not inspiring and helping others already? Mm -hmm. She makes a noise. I, I, no. <laughs> Like, I'm number one, but I don't know what that means. I, like, is, is me being number one and then being unable to land a punch on Ace Galatine really that inspiring to people? Like, oh, there goes Mike. She can't land a hit to save her life. <laughs> she but starts kicking. Like, life isn't all about punching Ace Galatine. I, uh, <laughs> she pauses. And then actually, you, you make a joke and she smiles. Um, it's like, it, um, but like, I, I don't know. It's like, uh. I, I, I left danger behind, and I just is this is that it? Set a good example. But how do I how do I do good by the, the people? I don't know. I don't know who the the, the people are. I moderate a, a chat. I I deal with the raw, unfiltered emotion of humanity. They say things, Argos. They say things with their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't know, I don't really know how to relate to people or inspire them. She goes significantly more monotone. I, I don't know what it means to really get close to someone. I don't know what it means to st stoke the passion of someone's heart or whatever. <laughs> Entertainers and muses and heroes are well, supposed to do. You know, that's what the number one means. That's being, the outside being confused. confirmation. No, that's the outside confirmation to tell you what you, you're doing is inspiring people. And all your hard work is being noticed, and you're doing great things. I, I, it, it feels like... You feel like you feel like she's running into the... She feels like she's running into the, the edge of some deep insecurity. What if it feels like it was handed to me? You know, like... I, I'm, I'm popular because I'm a moderator on your stream, and you were popular already, and I'm, I'm a member of Flow because I, I was your partner, and then it's just a surprise, you're a member of Flow, and she looks down. <laughs> Handed to you. Mm, she nods. Mike, think back to when we met. Think back to how you felt then, and how you were, and s compare yourself to now. You've, you've come so far and grown so much, and I know because we decided to take that journey together every step of the way. Jeez. I've seen it happen. She looks over at you. And, uh... 
I, <laughs> I... I don't know. It's hard. Um, she kicks her feet. Feels like I've made it this far because of, I guess, all the help I've gotten. Yeah. <laughs> Same with everybody else. We're all helping each other up. And... You, you're getting pulled up by the people around you, but you need to realize that you're you're pulling them up too. She genuinely looks at you. She's and then she tilts her head. I am um, <laughs> kind of hard to believe. She offers you a very weak smile. I, I don't know. I don't really know what I contribute that much. Um. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm proud of my tenacity. <laughs> she like looks down in a way. That's good. Yeah. Name something else. Uh. <laughs> she sort of like trails off. She's like, um. I don't know, I just... Okay, 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 okay. Let, let me put it like this. I, when I need to go down my list of good traits, I just... I don't feel like I have that reliable ability like Willow or Ace do to just handle it, or a, a big brain like you or Riddle do, or like... Honestly, I, I compare, I'm not even going to start to compare myself to Treble because that that is a long and slippery road. <laughs> she, she, like, looks down. Um... It's just, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, I feel like if, if Willow were in my position, she, she'd be acting as a shining beacon to the entire world. And I feel like at, at best, I'm like a dim, dim light. Like, um, like I'm the moderator from the stream chat. <laughs> she lightly trails off. Like, you are a star and a lot of people can see that I don't know you should fall into whatever place you're comfortable in but at the very least I know how brightly you shine and you're that you're all of that for me so, if you can't believe in yourself, trust me in that I'm being genuine when I say that uh, I admire you and I think you're doing an incredible job and you are a, a beacon of hope. I could not have made it this far without you. <laughs> She pulls the drawstrings on her hoodie. Only a tuft of hair emerges from the front. <clears throat> and You'll... it, and please appreciate it because this is what embarrassing to say. <laughs> uh, <sighs> partially muffled. I really do appreciate it. Um. So I'll say the embarrassing thing back. <laughs> so fucking heavily muffled. I make jokes, are they funny? It's okay if they're not, I'll work up my material. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever stop making your jokes, please. <laughs> it's just kind of hard. I don't know, I feel like there isn't a time and place. And it's like, I, I, I don't... <laughs> she continued muffling. Like, I mean, like, is there even a place for a comedian in the number one spot? Won't people think it's silly? I mean, I've I've made a living out of making <laughs> jokes over. Uh, you know, I've been like experiencing you know, trauma. Yeah. Sometimes it's people laughing at you, and like that's cool, but also the little mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <She> says, <laughs> still suppressed. It comes with the territory. That's why I say 
fall into whatever spot you feel comfortable in, as far I, as stardom, but... It's just, I don't know. Aren't we supposed to be teaching everyone, like, a serious lesson about superstars and stuff? I just kind of want to be silly. <laughs> she says from inside her hood! Huh. That's... I mean, that's part of your charm. <laughs> she can you feel her fidgeting in her seat. I, I think you're that's, wondering that's too awesome. much of what you should be doing and not realizing that what you are doing is what brought you here. Brought you all this way. And into the number one spot. And being so powerful. And just coming so far as, as a person. You're, you're not just humoring me. I'm gonna reach out and offer my hand. <laughs> Hold her hand out. She stares at you determinedly. She looks at you dead in the face. And unspools her little hood for a second, and you see two <laughs> eyes glimmering in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel what she is staring at you, what she's asking. Mike's deep insecurity that you touched today. It's a funny one. You get the feeling that she wants to be taken seriously as a fighter. Very much. As a fighter and a comrade. She also, most importantly, there's a very, 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 very fragile and gentle part of Mike. That is so tiny and insecure, it banishes under the faintest amount of scrutiny. Mike takes your hand and she stares you deep in the face. Is Mike funny to you? <laughs> she looks deep into your eyes. Do it. Kill her. Genuine and truthful. My, my words are. Hmm? She lightly smiles back at you. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for the funny looking. <laughs> Just send her to hell. She would appreciate that. She's like, ah. okay, 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 okay. And like, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be like a problem or anything. It's not gonna be a problem if I like. You said I should follow my own path, right? Yeah. It won't belittle your image or be an issue. <laughs> no, we we're kind of you know, we're partners. We're forging a, a path together. So we'll figure it out. You feel oh, you you sort of say that and uh she actually you watch her sort of um loosen up a little bit and she finally and properly uncoils from herself and gets back up on the bed and sits next to you. She's like, um, I'm actually really happy about being number one. <laughs> like, really, really happy. I'm super proud of it. I, I, That's I like it. really good to hear. And like, I, I really like being strong, too, actually. It's nice. Um, uh, I, I really like it when people take, take, take me take this seriously um i was kind of worried they'd stop if i opened up and was a little more myself she sort of like kicks her feet on the bed a little bit um, it's like um there's like a professional mentality to everything that everyone here has and it's brilliant and like really bright like everyone's really cool and really intense and stuff Right? Like, it's it's awesome, but at the same time, it's not really who I am. I, um, it's a while ago, I pitched the same question, and he actually had a sort of similar response of being yourself is enough. She, like, looks down. I'm sort of a little afraid to let that girl out. She sort of stutters. Mm. I am... Um, my memory packet is a very, very severe woman. 
She has strong opinions on what I should be doing with my time and focusing on. And everything that I'm interested in, she thinks is kind of a waste. She thinks I should be a little more like Riddle and a little less like me. I feel bad for her. <laughs> she tilts her head. She, she's missing out on all the best stuff. <laughs> Mike sort of like looks down in a way. I am. Um, I guess uh, <laughs> that um, <laughs> she doesn't know what to say to that. It's like I just um, uh, yeah. <laughs> she sort of trails off. Uh, this is jumping s s straight ahead. Um, but it's something else I've sort of had on my mind. Um, Cass the other day told me that you guys said you you loved each other. Well, oh yeah, I guess we did. R right. Um, Mike sort of peaceably smiles over at you. She's like, um, well, I, I want to say, I guess, I love you too. Uh, hmm. I don't know if there was were any, like, misunderstandings there, but, um, I guess I like where we're at. You're pretty much the best partner I could ask for. Aww. And, and, like, I know the, the whole thing about, like, relationships and everything. I understand that the language is also probably loaded too. Um... Uh, I'm happy with where we're at, and, like, I'm happy if you're happy, so I guess, like, yeah. Uh, she, like, lightly sort of trails off. I think Basil was trying to set us up or something. She hops in the, uh, <laughs> she hops in the beanbag chair, and, like, I really appreciated it, but at the same time... <sighs> she sort of smiles. Uh, Argus, I love you. Regardless of where you find happiness, I'll be cheering you on. I love you too, Mike. She sort of, like, lightly smiles. Can I get a hug? She, like, leans in, moves over, pats you repeatedly on the back. Trouble? Listening is really hard sometimes. <laughs> Listening is really hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here peaceably talking with Aura. <laughs> or, uh, whatever he's been talking about blah 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 card game blah blah anime blah blah <laughs> blah blah Game Boy Advance Link Cable blah blah <laughs> <laughs> she puts a hand over her why don't we go walk somewhere else uh okay sure <laughs> <laughs> so anyway Flareon is the only thing no. <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> you guys start to walk away, and on the floor above. Uh, oh, 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 do you have something more? Uh, there's just one more thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come back I, over here. Okay. So, I know that we're partners and equals. Well, I guess you are number mm -hmm. one and I'm number two. Mm -hmm. She nods. So, I won't feel so bad about doing this um as oh. strategists officially for flow uh i'm going to have to pull rank here she tilts her head uh that item that Theo gave you to uh control the flame of the derelict she nods uh, you do not have authorization to use it. She looks down at herself. And thinks. Uh, please hand it over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> oh, baby! God. Here we go! Ooh. Oh, You're ooh. asking Mike to give it to you? Oh, love that! Holy shit! Uh, she. Oh god. Hmm. 
<laughs> Mike? This is like the most important roll to die of your entire life. Green, My girl. Green, green, green. <clears throat> <gasps> <laughs> her yellow stat and her green. Okay. Mike draws back, holds a holds an arm to her chest, and her mouth opens and her it sort of holds slack for a moment. And she she looks at you, Argos, and she's like I can't. She stares at you dead in the face. <sighs> Can? Going to play this one. <clears throat> she shakes her head repeatedly. No, I can't. She, her vision fixates on you for a second. It's like, I, I made a promise. Mike, you don't have to be the one who... I understand, but you don't have to carry all of that burden yourself. She moves forward, and here's where the yellow stack comes in. Her eyes open up. Theo spoke to me for a while. She told me about it, but I promised someone else. She pokes you in the chest. I made you a promise. What do you mean? She stares you dead in the eyes. You said you were leaving Fia to me, right? She smiles at you. Her expression grows more serious for a second. Argus, I want to help her too. She places a hand on her chest. We both do. But I can see that this is tough on you. So can't you let me, me help you? Her expression softens, and she puts her forehead against your chest. I think this conversation should highlight one thing. You've been doing that all along. She smiles up at you. A serious look of determination on her face. Argus. More than I'm Flo's number one agent. Or that I want to be that shining star. I'm your partner. If we're bearing a burden, we bear it together. All right. And her expression softens. Pat her head. <laughs> you pat her head repeatedly. You feel. <sighs> you feel her body arc up. Lockdown and the determination building inside of her. This. <laughs> she said something earlier. She's very proud of her ability to withstand, but her determination here. You pat her head, and she just reaches her arms around you and hugs you, pulling you close. You made a mistake. You left me alone with her long enough so that I'd care about her, too. <laughs> she pulls back, putting a hand on her chest. A device for your lenter is. More than anything, I want a bright future for you two. You see that look! You see a look of utter determination, utter selflessness, as Mike offers you a promise. It's a quiet thing, but to Mike, you feel it burning brightly within her, your synchronized emotions. She wants to bring the two of you together again. 
What you said earlier. Regardless of where you find happiness, she'll be happy too. That smile betrays not one iota of selfishness in this case. From the bottom of her heart, she loves you and wants you to be happy. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm gonna pull us away to the other floor. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> you. Ace. Oh. It's your time to find your way back. Luke opens his door. Waves. Lightly passes by. And where are you going so late? I'm going to go pick up my food. Oh, yeah, sure, picking up your food. Yes. Why? <laughs> Want to come along? Want to come along? Mm. Where was I going up here? Your room. Mm. I got an option of two pink bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Luke smiles at you. Ah, uh, God. Ah. Uh. Tough choice. Um, yeah, sure, I'll come along. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Luke rides the elevator down, and you sort of, like, lock in place, moving towards the exit. <clears throat> Luke moves over to the fucking garage and starts to drive his way out. Uh, do you go with? Yeah. I'll see where this is fuck going. It. Yeah, fuck it, man! <laughs> Lug. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> it's time for uh, Ace's fucking wild ride. Where the <clears throat> fuck my Uber driver Wait. taking me? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Me trying to figure out which scene list this one is. This is, uh, this is an unexpected one. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna happen. He drives his way over here. Where is your food? Where is it? <laughs> he drives his way to the middle of the desert and sort of like pulls to a stop. He uh, makes his way out and over and he's like, Phew. Okay, thank you for coming along with me. Yeah. So, did he grab his food? He did actually grab his food. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm fucking on high alert, homie. He sits down in front of the, uh, he sits down in front of the, uh, the fire. And then, uh, reaches over and, uh, <laughs> extends something to you. It's a takeout container. Want some? Sure. I'm not one to give up free food. You stare. I don't know. Let's do this one. This one, yeah. <clears throat> he starts eating. You come out here often? Hmm. Actually, more frequently than you'd expect. Um, and Breach I just find... lets you through just because you say you have food? Thankfully, I'm on the second floor, so I can just creep out. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. So... This is normally the part where I'd probably try to swap tips on how to live as a famous person in the modern day. Yeah, is it that hard for you? A little bit, yeah. Do you care that much? Hmm. He looks at the fire. <laughs> These days, not so much. Yeah, I feel you. It's about where I am. You nearly die multiple times, and you just suddenly go, why should I care? I mean, I'm big enough that no matter what I do, people are going to watch my movies anyways, so. Hmm. Is that what it's about for you? People watching the movies? I mean, the fame? People... The adoration? I mean, if people don't watch the movies, then I can't make the movies. Oh, so it's the joy of making them. It's the joy of doing something. He, like, taps, takes another bite of his food. <sighs> 
With the end of the world coming up. Seems rather small now, doesn't it? What, all the fame and stuff? Hmm. I mean... No matter what you do, you're gonna be small. He looks over. Really? How so? How so? I mean, it's not normal for a person to be so important. If I was a movie actor, if I was a doctor, if I was just some guy on the street, I'd be the same size. It doesn't really matter. We're saving the world, yeah, but... I don't know. I'm mostly saving myself. His eyes fixate on you for a moment. What about the people around you? you They're there. Too? I mean, I guess, yeah. But I... I don't know. It's something important to me, I guess. I do care about the people around me because I'm not some sort of monster. I mean, you're doing this for your brothers, right? He, like, leans in. Difficult to say at this point, honestly. No. Hmm. He, uh, he sort of, like, shakes his head. I... <laughs> my brother was kidnapped the other day. If I was doing this for my brothers, I'd probably be jumping over myself to get out there, right? I mean, yeah, but if you're reckless again, then you're just gonna make it trouble for everyone else. <laughs> I suppose. But the other people are just there, right? Just, <laughs> just there? Hmm. Right. They're there. They're present. But ultimately, he points with his chopsticks. It's about saving yourself, right? I mean, you have to save yourself before you can save other people. <laughs> he, he, uh, thanks. So, in that case, Ace, do you believe you're a person who's been saved? Person who's been saved? Yes. Are you safe? Safe right now? Does that make you capable of saving others, then? Yeah. I mean, I've been doing good so far. Hmm. Saved my sister. Or at least, partially. He takes another bite. Ace, are you happy? Am I happy? <sighs> it's a complicated question, really. I mean... I'm happy not to be alone. It's just the circumstance of me being around people is... what I'm not happy about. Without the end of the world, I probably wouldn't have met the people I know now. It's grim circumstances. I wish we could have met in better, better terms, better locations, but it was me dying that brought us back together, so. <laughs> hmm. And you'd be okay with accepting your death if it, well, led to something greater? No. That's what? right, you're fighting for yourself after all, right? Why fight for a future if you're not the one living in it? Even if everyone else gets to. What about you? Hmm. He thinks. <sighs> it's a complicated question, isn't it? You know, Luke. <laughs> hmm. You know there's a traitor in our gate, right? I have been informed as such, yes. How so? He sort of smiles, winks at you. The way that you've been keeping your eyes on me this entire conversation. Taps his food, takes another bite. Your stance isn't let up for a bit. Even without formless, you gotta be ready. <laughs> he, like, takes another bite. So you think it's me? I don't think it's you. You haven't given me any sort of sense or feel that it's you. I'm just letting you know that if you are the traitor, 
and who brought me out here for some certain reason, I mean, it's most important that I save myself, right? Agreed. Yes. Of course that's most important. Though, based on the way I'm looking at you right now, it's not just you at the moment, is it? Yeah. It's never really been just me. Hmm. He looks at the fire. I have an interesting question. Go on. He, like, moves in. There's another log on it and it sparks up. If you were given a chance to run away, take everything with you that might still be valuable, disappear, not worry about it anymore, would you do it? And I mean in a permanent sense. In a way that no one would ever bother you again. Would you grab what's most precious to you and just vanish? Hmm. It's complicated, really. It is, isn't it? When you ask those questions, all I can really do is fill in the blank. What is most important from me, to me, and what am I running from? If it's the case of the end of the world, I doubt that the people that I'd take with me to run away from it would actually leave. <laughs> right. And in terms of running away, I've tried that before. Didn't work out. You heard yeah. about the knife game, right? Yes. It's a grab near thing. It teaches a simple lesson of if you just don't bother someone and just talk to them peacefully, sort out your problems, there will be no problems. But if you bother someone, forcefully try to take their knife, then there will be a problem. I tried to peacefully take my knife sit in my corner and mind my own business. The demons, and the person who did this to me, bothered me, so by the laws of my land, it's only my right to kill them. Stares at the fire. So, <laughs> until all these higher beings, all these demons, all these people who want to control my life are gone and leaving me alone running away is not the solution it's doing what they want me to be it's to bother them to be the threat to be the hero that they thought I am just to stop them he turns <laughs> laughs it's so hard Honestly, right now, I can't tell if we're polar opposites or exactly alike. There's something that you said in there. The people that are precious to you are, to some extent, inseparable from the conflict. You can't just take them. You were probably distraught when your brother joined Flo, right? He nods. And if you died there, Lug, or Colt died in that factory, Cole would have joined this conflict. Unfortunately, we are, to some extent, in love with the conflict itself. Romanticizing your uh, own tragedy? Uh, he sort of smiles. Mm, to some extent. I think someone, at the very least, should tell it like it is, he says with a smile. If we're in love with the tragedy itself, if we're in love with the conflict itself, escape truly is impossible. He sort of like leans back, because that conflict lives on inside of us too. It sounds like... If they'd left you alone completely, you might have been able to move on with your life. If that's the case, genuinely, I applaud you. But, 
but I was robbed of the chance of even finding that out. If I could move <laughs> on, if I could leave Flow with no problems, with no connections, and live my normal life. Mm. And you're upset about that. That is the primary thing that is eating you alive. Not being able to find out if I could find peace in the first place is kind of annoying. He looks over at you, and his eyes carefully watch you from the other side of the fire. And you remember back. You remember what it was like. When you were robbed of the chance. Heavy. Heavy. You remember the weight of this dojo. You remember the weight of the place around you. Sure as hell, before your flame was ever taken from you, before your identity was ever reaved from your body, this world seemed to lose color and definition in itself. It felt like you were being pulled away. You're reminded of something. You're reminded of someone. Someone somewhere else is having a similar conversation. <clears throat> Another heavy footfall traveling down the path. But it stops. Someone actually tugging on you. You try to remember exactly what she was saying at the time. Her mouth opening, shutting, different descriptions of the day's events. What was happening with Argus most recently? Basil getting up to trouble in Ciala. All of it sort of smeared, blurred away with time. She smiled. It was a remnant of color in this place, but... Huh. Something actually clicks with you as you stare into the fire. Mike's insistence on being there. Something resounds. Ace? Someone robbed you of the chance to fight that battle. There was somebody that stood by your side to see how hard you were fighting against that weight, that discoloration. But you never got to see that fight to the end. It was interrupted by someone somewhere else. The world flares with color again. Not on your terms. Not by your choice. His gaze looks over to you. Hmm. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry about what's gonna happen. Silence resonates over the area. Ace, roll to die for me. Yep. <laughs> oh, drop first. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah, then... Oh. You feel someone flare up in almost quiet presence. Shadows moving between the flames. Inky blackness in the desert darkness. You inhale, you exhale. You remain utterly yourself in that moment. This person does not take control, does not do anything. But... She does say something. It's a voice. Mean, cruel sounding. Especially with this perfunctory timing. But it strikes you through. You know, based on her emotions, she means it genuinely. This is a request, a call to action. She wants to know if she should do something. But the words she chooses to ask you this are... You having a good time? Not really. Ace, you fall backwards. 
into a curtain of darkness, disappearing into a sea of stars. Meanwhile, in the old world... <laughs> Give me a hot sec. Oh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> you three sort of travel outwards Hold on. <clears throat> do a segment of well the old world <clears throat> the golden knight in front of you walks ahead like that was annoying okay I think we need to lay low here at least a little while. Um, how long, uh, though? I don't know how long Eternity is going to be back there. I miss my new friend, <laughs> says loudly next to you. Good it, for you. He, like, turns back around. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. We can occupy ourselves here. Why don't we look at the hole to the old world? Sure. Oh, I also am curious about the hole to the old world. You're not going down it. I wish to explore what lies below. <laughs> then we won't be, be back in time for the execution, say. I... That will make planning difficult. <sighs> okay. Golden Knight sort of stops. It's kind of obvious, but... I'm not exactly someone who's entirely enthusiastic about what's happening with the executions. Yeah. He moves forward. Makes me stick sick to my stomach to say this, but... He holds out a hand. Let's work together. Don't take it. <laughs> so he says immediately from behind you. Come on. I'll it can make more you. of a difference if it's two people working together. Yeah, I'll work with you. I'm not gonna take your hand, though. <laughs> Say sort of smiles. <laughs> you will take mine, however. She holds out her hand for you. <laughs> that's fine. So long as we stay out of each other's way. No! No, that's not good enough! He puts a hand on your shoulder. He stares you dead in the face. Listen. If we're gonna try this, we need to actually work together. None of that bullshit we tried to pull with Venter. That was slapdash as hell. We've got to improve. Don't worry. If you thought I was actually trying when I was fighting Venter, then you're wrong. Okay, then show me what actually trying is like. You'll see it. When it's needed. Hey, guys. Yeah? Roll to die for me. Make <laughs> sure draw swing. Okay, no active swing. Oh! Oh! Oh, extremely awesome! Hey, you're gonna sink with the Golden Knight? <laughs> I'm gonna sink with the Golden Knight? You're gonna sink with the Golden Knight? Do you feel like sinking with the Golden Knight? <laughs> no. <laughs> you close your heart and you stomp forwards, traveling down and away. Elsewhere. <clears throat> Training begins bright and early again. These people aren't here. <clears throat> Training begins bright and early again for a set of individuals who will spend the next few days working on their various regiments. Oh, sorry, Isabel, you're getting dragged back into this. <laughs> <clears throat> The plan <laughs> for the next few days is to lock in, <clears throat> is to lock in a strategy that will allow victory against those in the derelict. However, one of them conspicuously went missing. <laughs> Yeah. 
You can't fucking pee! <clears throat> in a break room in a secret lab well beneath the surface of Fuse City, two individuals discuss the future. They talk to each other about, well, different acquisitions made from Ciala as well as a reclaimed number of bodies that seem to physically match Riddle Arendite's description, each missing an eye. They're all suspended in tubes nearby. This lab's primary focus is built around dismantling or disarming the wisdom of those that come from Ciala. But... Today, there would be quite the disturbance. This guard sort of puts a hand to his earpiece. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, everyone, start moving towards the exit. Oh, what? Why? Um, they start moving that way. There's a, there's a disturbance in the artificial reflection lab. We need to get you out of here. Oh, yeah, of course. They start stomping this way as... And hammers on the door, it barely giving way, letting the scientists out. They scream running down the hallway as, back here, a large figure locked in place into a giant machine is slowly pulled lower as an individual regains relative amount of consciousness. His eyes remain locked on the artificial reflection in front of him. You pull it down, Ace, as your empty flame suddenly sputters back for a moment, and you regain consciousness, staring at the artificial reflection in front of you. It looks back through a multitude of eyes. Its eyes meet yours. It stares. It watches. And quietly, you see, as something begins to form and pool in one of its hands, darkness in the shape of stars, it forms a blade. You look down, and you see something emblazoned on its side. Artificial reflection, model Seagazer. And with that, we will call this to a close for today. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she asked you if you wanted to get out of here and you said yes, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're if you want to get out, you're going to have to do what I want you to do. But <laughs> Okay. So, next time we will continue with the training and uh, Ace is going to have to break himself out of prison. Hey, your promise of destroying everything on the way out and uh, only taking things with you that fit inside of a vat is coming true, Ace. My friend, <laughs> this is what we call a bookend. Damn, it's pretty deep. <clears throat> Holy so. shit. With that, we are calling this session to a close. We ran, we didn't, we got to like one third of what I had planned. That's fine, we'll do it next time. Everyone, thank you so much for playing. Um, Thank you so much for coming along. We got fan art. Yeah. Uh, boop, boop, boop. We don't have an imgur this time, but uh, let me, uh, oh. let me uh, fix some shit up to like. Uh, Make this doable. Yeah, fan art. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. No bonds. No, no bonds. Bond, no bond, bonds. Bond these no bonds. nuts, homie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Every week. So uh, I'm not going to be streaming to you guys. because uh, yes. Just go to the Discord and you'll be able to see Yes. Uh, and you can join this wonderful Discord. You're going too fast. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know you're just scrolling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, first off, a uh, poster from uh, Dungeon Master Zero. Ah, lovely. Lovely. Thank you very Extremely much. Extremely lovely. And then everyone's saying it's great. Uh, and then oh. we have... Uh, oh, yeah. Argos. And... Uh, Ace. <laughs> Argos and Riddle. Wow. Riddle is going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no, my it's god. It's okay. It's been long enough. <laughs> it's been long enough. I escaped twice. And That's double we, jeopardy. I'm then, free. Then we got the gays. No I <laughs> fucking Beautiful. love this image Happy so Pride much. Bow. It's so pretty. Happy Month. And then. Yeah. <laughs> Ace Grimace. Ace Grimace. <laughs> and then we have uh, the Riddle Guilty Gear Strive mod. Ah, uh, Lord. Nice. Which gives, oh my uh, god, that's palette. so. That, that looks really fucking good, man. Gives oh that my man god. Riddle's palette. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, tube. The tube says watch <laughs> throwing intent. <laughs> ah, thank you. Uh, he's the directoring you, too. He is the directoring you. Name, uh, unfortunately, I can't catch the stream, but here's the art. Yeah, Ace and, Ace and Mike running. Ace and Mike fucking Look at running. Them. And then. Uh, he goes zoom. From 13. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, the, the crouch out. Oh, <laughs> excellent! Finally, you did. You got the proper disguise. So I've had enough of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Rich people. You're bad at this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> really? Thanks, curious George. Listen, I am creating a reason to give Willow a writing it down emote. <laughs> <laughs> Willow with box on head. Willow with box oh, on head. So She's so hidden. She's I'm mailing, very hidden. I'm mailing them frustrating things. In the next <laughs> we are we are updating the <laughs> rankings. That thing is a demon. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, from <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's extremely good. Isabeau become <laughs> text. Uh... And they hang oh, in. Yeah. They hang in. They hang. <gasps> Look at them. My skull, yeah. <laughs> the cow. Listen, Verona likes wine like, specifically. Cow remembers. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> it, actually. Yes. <laughs> and then we also Every change Ruth. Every time you and... say that, my brain catches fire. Also <laughs> chain Ruth and the Sword of Hope. Yeah. Nice. Welcome our next member. Yeah, fucking Stone oh, Cold Steve <laughs> The heart that beats. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> she does indeed beat it. And then we got a Trobo. Trobo! Yeah! And then, uh. <laughs> then Charles fucking nine. Yeah. Oh my Mask, god! Mask living his best fucking I life know. right now. I, know. <laughs> I have folders for Cal Art and Nine Art. I am saving every image. Then we got. Oh. Then we got a Sea Gazer from. We got that Sea Gazer. Yeah. Oh, that's so Wasted fucking riddle. sick. Wasted <laughs> riddle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Riddle. <laughs> it's the Whoa. Stay Puft Marshmallow Riddle. What I gotta say? Say. say. Oh, Rug. Yeah, and then we have <laughs> Don't Die on Me, Soldier. Yeah. And <laughs> 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 I'm a teleporter. Ho, ho, ho. Bone jokes. Bone jokes. <laughs> Swamp defense failed. Yeah. She tried so hard, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Every day say, teleports behind you. Well, am I a fucking stranger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for skipping some of the text stuff, but I we've been here so yeah. late, so if we read all of it, yeah, we'll no be worries. here for like, yeah. a lot of more. But if you want to check it out, then you can join the official Discord by typing an exclamation point Discord. Please or check, check the out the official below. Discord. Yeah. Got Trobo. And Trobo. Uh, we have... Uh, Dance! Yeah, we got a with knife. That's a concussion, yeah. That's a concussion. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well, it was just oh, my. Oh, my oh, the dances. Oh, my God. I love these pairings a lot. Oh, this is this is great. <laughs> Sorry, I scrolled ahead. I was I I got I had a suspicion and it was made true and I'm saving another image to the night. If you could run, <laughs> would you? I miss my new friend, yeah. I miss there my new is. friend. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. And then no rangers. No rangers. <laughs> no rangers? <laughs> no rangers. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, you're getting the rangers next session. You did it. <laughs> I'm officially caving. Oh, God. Woe is me. Fucking, fucking <laughs> oh, no. Oh. To interact with the rangers. What oh, a tragedy. What a tragedy. So... You really twisted my arm, Chad. Did we get the bonds? <laughs> we just said no bonds. Uh, no yeah, bonds. No you bond. get the bonds next week, next Chad. Next week. Look, look. The session was five hours. We're not staying here much longer. But if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube. 
and join the Discord. And if you want to support the show, make sure to check out the Sentiment TTRPG Patreon, where you can support Jay monetarily. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for coming out. Do thank it. you, players, for coming out. Thank you, Jay, so much for GMing. And thank you for streaming! streaming. Yeah. So, uh, see, you, see you later. Bye! Later! Bye, everybody! Bye-bye. Bye-bye.